Ooh, interesting, interesting start to the day. Had a, had a variety of technical failures and successes, but we're ready to go. Uh, today's wallpaper is this gentleman in scrubs with who I appear, who appears to be their child, and perhaps a pile of breast implants and a, a bag. That was probably part of the set, and then they brought all the breast implants to the Sears. Take the nice family photo. Uh, we're going to be playing Dragon's Dogma today. And if you look right here, down here, you see a little box. Today's stream is sponsored. Sponsored by Green Man Gaming. Uh, a, an online key retailer who is currently selling Dragon's Dogma 2 for 14% off. <laughs> that one in stereo. <laughs> Thank you, CD Media. Uh, if you want to, if you want Dragon's Dogma 2 on PC for 14% off, hit that link. Hit it up, baby. Hit it up, baby. Gaming. Yes. Gaming. That's gaming. I have to admit, uh, like... I, I really like the PC platform because you can you can actually shop around, which I think is cool. And competition is doing what it do, and you can get deals. And Green Man Gaming is always a part of that. I kick myself because I I have to admit I actually forgot to check Green Man Gaming for the past couple of years. You can save a lot of money that way. And uh, oh yeah, so that's the other thing is um, it's fourteen percent off. But if you if you level your profile up on Green Man Gaming by getting Capitalism XP, your discount actually goes up. So if you've been a, a, a shopper on Green Man Gaming before, you may actually get more than a 14% discount. So that's gaming. Anyway, thank you, thank you for sponsoring the stream. I guess technically... I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better... A oh yeah, person. yes! I was like, wow, that's buttery. I, I installed the frame gen, and uh, yeah, there's a noticeable difference. Oh, man. Now, the, the, the details on the frame gen mod said that some people were, were reporting freezing with it, which is weird because I actually got some freezing without it. But we'll see what happens. Hey, Samurai Spartan. Have you come from Vernworth? How are things there? The ancient battleground to the north is overrun with hordes of fell beasts, and so little are survivors anticipated that you'll find not even a checkpoint here. In times past, twas safer. I guess he's telling me to take a port stone there. To sleep, but no longer. No longer. That's just capable with RTX. It's only capable with GeForce 4000 series cards. Since a few days passed, skeletons and phantoms have made this their nightly battleground. Tis nigh impassable now. But can you traverse it with Diesel? Look at Fat Leon back there. Look at him. Arms crossed, waiting to sass me. You can tell. He's just sitting on it. It could be that aught's befallen the Cenotaph. I'd heard the spirits had calmed somewhat since twas erected. Calm. Say, if I cannot dissuade you from traversing the ancient battleground, would you consider passing by the cenotaph and making sure what's are right with it? He's got the sass hip out. I like it. Visit the cenotaph. All right. So yeah, I took an ox cart basically to the middle of nowhere. Um, I guess there's, if I wanted to be exhaustive, maybe I should like, that looks important, whatever that is. I guess it was just like a, a quick trot down the road from a place I'd already been. There's like, you know what, I just, I'm just remembering a handful of quests that I haven't done yet. There was one where you have to like find a kid who wandered off. Well, let's explore the town. Let's explore the town and find good deeds to do for folks in need. Have you heard the rumors? The residents of a small village to the north are said to have perished overnight. There was no warning, no apparent cause, but one morning they were all discovered dead. Every last one. Of course, such rumors are best taken with a grain of salt. 
Some peddler might have made it up to increase sales. I miss Garfield too. Maybe we can find Garfield again. But the other day, I saw an elven woman and a dwarven man walking hand in hand. There are dwarves? Normally, you put an elf and a dwarf Elves? in the same room and they'll be trading blows before you can blink. Mayhap my eyes deceived me. Mayhap. Huh. <laughs> this big old stomp of it just did. <laughs> What's your problem? Oh, he's a, that's a rude tune. Had things only turned out differently at the coronation. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the matter at hand. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party. Now nah, we're good. Playing on PS5. Average is around 35 FPS. Will drop to 28 during heavy combat. You get 60 FPS staring at the sky. Hmm. I could see how it not being a locked frame rate might bother people on console. I don't know though. This is You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. Hey, at least it, it hasn't been bottlenecked by the Series S, you know? And uh it I feel like games like this are actually kind of arriving at the right time. Because a PS5 Pro is useful ingredients to be gathered here, or we just supposedly on the way this uh this holiday. And that'll make the kind of that'll yeah look at that thick neck that's why that's why i'm wearing this armor so we get that nice vin diesel trap uh and also the the titty cup i'm a big fan of of this little like bustier covering his titty i almost kind of wish it weren't there so it would just be this belt going under his massive man tit but it is what it is 100 percent playable yeah yeah the yeah, it's the people who actually play it don't seem to have too much of a problem with it. More like more frame rate is always, obviously always better, but it seems pretty playable, especially when it comes to open world games on console. I guess maybe people have just started to expect miracles, which you can't. I don't know. Nice to hope for the best, but the game rocks. I'm very happy about that. Just the game in general. I'm, uh, this is the kind of game that I was worried wouldn't be made anymore. At this scale, for sure. I mean, a lot of Western developers are having very are having huge difficulty making games like this profitable. Or, I don't know, profitable to the point that they roll out of bed for them. It's like a. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. Well, hello there, sir. What can I do you for? Not that I really need to ask. Ah, oh, there's always demand for weapons, particularly near the border where quarrels occur every other day. I've assembled the finest wares for leagues around. Yeah, media. It's a game that that treats you like an adult or expects you to to pay some kind of attention. Which is kind of why, uh, you know, there was some. Oh shit! Oh damn! Sorry, there was someone yesterday that uh, that was asking about playing the game high, and I was like, well, yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, probably have a good time, but at some point you might just get stuck. Oh baby, a flamberge! Look at that stupid sword! Oh, incredible! I am so curious to get to the. <laughs> To get to the end of the game, or like maybe even find an ending, because I'm just, I'm curious how hard they're gonna go with uh. Let's see here, I'm hoping. Oh Jesus, that looks awesome. <laughs> oh, that's that's the best though. I mean, that's just the best. It's just it's just boots and underwear, and somehow it's better. Fantastic. Oh, that's even better, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, no, no, no. I can't believe I'm not. You guys can't even see it. You know what? That's better. That's fine. It's actually good that you can't see it. That's fine. You'll see it soon enough. Don't worry. Ooh. You're just going to have to trust me on this one. Okay. Equip purchase, yes. Always a pleasure. Well, next is right. most exhilarating to hand over such a sum. What a walk outside. An investment made for safer travels can hardly be called extravagant. <laughs> Come on. You are the arisen, are you not? Tell me, in your comings and goings, did you happen to encounter a man by the name of Offal? Hmm. He seems to have vanished while in possession of a treasure known as the Jadeite Orb. The Jadeite My Orb. merchants are scouring the city for him as we speak, but have had no luck as yet. And if I may be candid, our primary concern is not the merchant, but rather the orb. Hey, Carl Hungus. Thank you for the sub. And the compliment about the Insight it's Games episode. precious importance to myself and my partners, you see. I must see it reclaimed, post-haste. Hello, E25 Clay. Is Jadeite meaningfully distinct from Jade? Interesting question. Let's find out. You open a new tab. Jadeite. Gem quality silicate mineral in the pyroxene family that is one of the two forms of jade. The more prized of the two types of jade, jadeite, is usually found as a transparent to opaque, compact, cryptocrystalline lenses, veins, or nodules. So it's a form of jade. The, the cooler jade. Ah. Only in metamorphic rocks, most often those that have been subjected to the high pressures deep below the Earth's surface, Jadeite is rare. Its presence at the surface indicates great uplift of earlier buried regions and great amounts of erosion. Cool. And in my hour of need, who should wander by but the good arisen? What say you, sir? Would you be so kind as to seek out the Jadeite orb on my behalf? Well, uh, what are my specs? Um, I have a an i5 13th gen Intel. Uh, I, th I think it says in task manager what your processor is. Well, anyway, there's there's my caches, I guess. Uh, 14 cores, 20 logical. Yeah, it's a, it's an i5 13th gen. Oh, pfft, it's right there. Anyway, there's that, and then a 4080, and then 32 gig RAM. So, I would say it's a mid to high end PC. It's not really out there in the stratosphere. Um, but there are you you inherit a lot of problems. At least I do. Trying to like go up to the the mega gamer shit. Also I'm streaming so I can't do ultra wide and I can't like going above 2k doesn't hold a lot of eh, eh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I haven't even I haven't even I haven't even lit my candle. My candle's been there unlit this whole time and chat didn't say anything. It's a machine built only for gaming. Untrue. Untrue. I actually use these components to uh, to edit video. And it's actually really, really good at editing video too. Um, NVIDIA cards can crunch video like a mad dog. But yeah, basically. And Photoshop, you know, it does some other things. But yeah, you're correct. It's mostly gaming. I mean, this is not the this is not the build that I would recommend to somebody who's not going to be gaming. I've actually done PC builds for a couple of people, and it is fun, sort of just like, oh Jesus Christ! Guess that's what a dry wick burns like. Cool. Uh, it is fun, sort of building a PC around someone's needs, and then dialing in or figuring out what costs you can get rid of. That process is really fun to me. I don't know why. It's fun to like save people money on things they won't use and then figure out a PC build that like zeroes in exactly on somebody's like over delivers in the thing they want it for and then saves money on the rest of it. Everything is tax deductible on your builds. Yeah, pretty much. But I, I don't really spend that much. Uh, 
I maybe buy PC hardware every two years. And don't get me wrong, I'm lucky to do that. But that's about the pace of, of hardware upgrades. And that's to stay pretty current these days, I feel like. Unless you just really want the, the most modern thing all the time. Hi, Jean Toast. Sean Bean needs me to find his Jadeite. You will be rewarded handsomely for your service. Of that, I can assure you. Find me my Jadeite. Why does the cursor keep appearing? It seems this Jadeite orb is in high demand. Two people have asked us to find it now, but only one of them can have it. The legs, bro. The right to decide is yours alone, master. <sighs> it's too good. I have... To, it's too good. And also, this sword is just stupid. Oh, man. Oh, so there's the courier who wanted it, and then the dealer who wanted it. Why is the fucking mouse keep appearing? I might have to restart the game! I think maybe it's because I opened, uh... Maybe it's because I opened Task Manager. What if I turn off my mouse? How's the game so far? I'm having a great time, Eldritch. Uh, despite the fact that I'm currently quitting it to make the mouse cursor go away. <sighs> I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, <laughs> that issue still exists. Yeah, mouse cursors. Some things never go away, and, and in some ways that's weirdly comforting. The old mouse cursor keeps popping up problem. There, see? We got it. You need to acquire orb. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. If you want my advice, heed no advice, save your own. All right, kind of paradoxical, but let me deposit my old gear. The sovereign's retinue makes to fell the dragon at last. It was a remarkable recovery, really. The man was burned to a crisp. I've done a small amount of Windows programming, a very small amount, like, um, so I have a, a very basic understanding of how Windows displays Windows, you know, and, and the, like the stack of, of like the Z stack of Windows. I don't, I never really dug around into how the cursor is displayed. So I, I, I couldn't even theorize on, on why the mouse reappearing in the center is, is a recurring issue. Some of those things are fascinating, though. Like, they, they're so weirdly common that they must be fundamental in some way. I need to remember that I can sell those if I ever need to. If I ever need money. And I feel like I do need money. Many thanks. I need to check and see if I can buy better gear for Pebble. Whoa. But this this actually might be the sign specifically for like, hybrid classes. Let's see. Huh. Huh. Oh. Mm, okay, so now I need money. Yeah, maybe I should go raid the coffers. I want him to have a better helmet that doesn't cover his entire face. <sighs> Come on, Brev. It looks cool. Mm. Yeah. Happens when you tab out, maybe? Reduces accumulation of sleep value. Oh, just makes you... Where trade slow to a standstill, I feel. Five way to say it? Alright. I 
the first enhancement's actually pretty cheap. Do you come again? Every time I walk back into work, I lose parts of my soul. Uh, I remember that feeling. That feeling sucks. And you just feel your happiness drain away as you're like walking through the door. Interested in my way. The sovereign's retinue makes it's like the smell of the place <laughs> makes your spirit die a little. Man was burnt to a crisp. The sound of it, just the buzzing of the lights or whatever. Willie's Hour, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Many thanks. I hate that I can't afford to do anything else. Ugh, yeah, life sucks. <laughs> life sucks. On a long enough time scale, though, it is possible to move out of that. But sometimes it's like... Well, you can't okay. see the escape because it's not there yet. It's like more than a few months away. Oh, there's always demand for weapons. Oh, you can sell that. Interesting. That is not nearly enough money uh, to buy the the daggers for pebbles. So particularly near. Always a pleasure. He will stay undaggered for now. Nothing caught your eye. I'll take the window. Let's hope there's all worth our court. Would you be so kind as to seek out the jadeite? Larcenous deeds are the ken of bandits. Mayhap one. Should I go? Should I go to the bandit layer? I know where that is. Oh, here it is. Yeah, here's where you can copy well, items. Comes, uh, to the I could see it in my mind's eye, but I couldn't remember what city it was in. Finest treasures. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for yourself. Yeah. So if I had come out here, I could have I could have made a copy of the jail key. <laughs> It's access to a forgotten spell. Oh wait, he just has the fucking orb. Pfft. What? He's just got it. I wonder if what that's I can help with. Many would call themselves a mass. Hope to see you again. Yeah, there it is. I wonder if that's if it's meant to be a backup because this is like the 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 valuables vendor. They sell like quest items and things, but. Is that free meat? Regrettably, I am not equipped with the knowledge to guide you on that quest. Shame there aren't as many folks spinning tall tales in the tavern of late. I rather enjoyed hearing the one about the Gigantus. Have you heard it? It is said to descend in times of conflict, scattering friend and foe alike, and leaving only death and ruin in its wake. <laughs> Sounds like the last thing we need, doesn't it? Really, now, you mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget. You'll never believe this, but the other day. Normally, you put mayhap my eye. Greetings, sir, and welcome to the Sword and Staff. We see a great many customers given our location, so you'll have to forgive us if the ale runs dry. Can you pick up the rats? Excellent question. I'm going to try. Eddie the dog returns. Thanks for the sub. I too would be happy if Eddie the dog returned. The sword and staff is open for. All right, let me grab a rat. And on my my rat grabbers, get some free. I guess those are supposed to be potatoes, tar spuds. With the matter at hand. Yeah, I got it. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party. You come in here. I hear him skittering. Rat throwing contest. <laughs> I hear a squeak. There you are. Oh, I don't think you can't wait. Say, hey, where the fuck? Hmm, it's not looking good. I'm trying. 
Yeah. Uh, can't be a rat grabber, unfortunately. Ah, uh, maybe people are right. Maybe this game is bad. You can't even grab the rats. I mean, come on. $70 game? You can't, like, pick up a rat with one hand and hold it like a, like a beer bottle, like a soda can? That's become my favorite thing on the internet, or new favorite thing, is pictures of people holding their pet rats, like, just around the gut, and they just have their, like, their little arms and legs dangling out. That's the best. Wait. What am I supposed to do? Wait a minute. It's just, it's... Hold on. <laughs> I actually did not see that it was literally right there. It's in the, like... It's in the uh, inventory list. But yeah. Master Butcher. I am, uh, I am blessed. Yeah. By virtue of, of Vinning in Dragon's Dogma, people told me all about it. Yes. This. Just this. Look at this, look at this fat man just being like, ugh. Bleh. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, had things only turned out differently at the coronation. To think Whoops. A technique to puppet us pawns. I do that with my guinea pigs? Good. Good. Really, any grabbing any rodent like that. Ferrets, another another close second. Ferrets are extra long though, so the hand doesn't squish them properly. Is this the whole town? I think this is it. Just this cloister of well, shit. There's this stuff up here, but uh, I wanted to just like poke through all the buildings. Uh, and, wait a minute. Oh yeah, there's these like splintered off buildings. Yeah, Miradin. I don't remember who that is. Twill take a better mind than mine to solve this. Sir Miradin, who calls yon manor home, is said to be a sorcerer of great renown. Tell is, he keeps all manner of magical implements in his abode. Mind, I don't believe anyone's really seen them. He's rather a crotchety sort, to say the least. You pay him a visit, and he's like to turn you away afore you've even said hello. That's right. Oi, you there! You've just arrived in town, haven't you? I don't mean to pry, only... Here we go, okay. But yeah, the... I remember the wizard, you have to wear your fancy clothes. Or he'll scoff at you and turn you away. Have you seen the lad? Morris! I've just found out Roger's been abducted by beasts. What? No! How can that be? I've just heard news. Rog was seen being dragged off by wolves. Oh, my poor boy. We must go hey, Harry. Him at once. Oh. It's helping that guy from chat get dogma working? It's fixed? Nice. What was the what was the nice. issue? Think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after the lad. We are no match for such creatures. Look at Vin overhearing this. He know he knows it's his time. Do you truly expect me to do naught but twiddle my thumbs when my only grandson's been taken from me? Watched a DD2 is bad that came out this morning, and it was point by point a list of things you've expressed your displeasure at, and he loved Resident Evil 4 and excused it as being different because it also has a following, so it gets a pass. The soldiers oh, is this like a different YouTube video? Concern it all. Yeah. He's right. But what else am I to do? If I do not hasten to the poor lad's aid, who will? The motions of all this thing are becoming like do you truly mean that, sir? Disappointingly routine. You will save my grandson. If you return him to me, I will be forever in your debt, stranger. Shall we seek some answers? Rog! No, Rog! Yeah. Wonder if Crobe Cat's gonna come out with a video? If people want to watch it, people will make it without compunction. Stay away from me. Zenesty! Thank you very much for the sub. have to talk to people I'm just grateful to still be in business 
Poor Rog. Oh, there we go. He truly is a lovely boy. He's always helping Morris in his shop. And he's delivered me my remedies many a time. Once, he even picked some flowers on his way off and put them up for me. So wait, who is, who is they? Also, what's up, Captain? I still recall his smile when he told me about the beautiful flower bed he tends to on the outskirts of town. YouTube's turning into a hate circle jerk of just negativity for clickbait? Mm-hmm. It's... Oh, Crowcat. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, uh... It doesn't matter if it's true or not. It just matters if it's a, it's a good narrative and people want to watch it. That's it. Uh, those, are, that's the only, uh, those are the only checks. See your smile again. I suppose I can only hope. Oh, still sick. No throwing up though, just joint pains. Ugh. Gosh, when your when your body feels like it's fighting itself, just being alive is Yeah, outrage cells. Mm -hmm. bed will offer some clue as to Roger's whereabouts. Dr. Hugbees, you got to go to work. I you to the location. No. No. It's not fair. Oh, I forgot to sleep. Well, it's too late now. What? But you were supposed to guide me to the location. You're picking up potatoes. Okay, it's down this road. You would gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? Skeletons, there! Whoa, I overshot. Oh, are we all in the same boat? Can't wait to take this this new battle armor for a spin. Oh, 420 Eastern? Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hey folks, folks in the Eastern time zone, have you spent all of your gaming money on weed? We've all been there, right? Dang, I'm just 14% short to buy Dragon's Dogma 2. Well, have I got good news for you. K1 Soze? Kai Soze? Thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. Have I got good news for you. Oh, today's stream is sponsored. Sponsored, sponsored, sponsored. And here I was hoping for some great treasure. Now I feel a fool. By Green Man Gaming. Currently selling Dragon's Dogma 2 for 14% off on PC. Prepare yourself. Quick, douse the flames. Okay, I blew myself up. I did do that. I these zombies are pretty, pretty hardy. I think I missed. Is he gonna pop? Woo! How about that? That was impeccably timed, Arisen. Hell yeah, that's 14% of money I could spend on snacks after smoking weed. You could. Healthy snacks like beef jerky and yogurt. <laughs> so you can develop lean muscle and support myocardial health while playing Dragon's Dogma 2 on personal computer. The PC platform. Oh no. Can't play, I can't enjoy dog until I get a new GPU. That, that RMA one <laughs> that's in the ether. I'm sorry to hear that. Just what I was hoping for. Sorry to hear that, Harry, but it will be a very cool way to test a new video card. Hey, Lawrence's deal got me under a hundred dollars a stallion. Australian, so very pro that. Yes. Fight against, fight against this Pestilence of game prices. That's a uh, hey. You say fourteen percent. That frees up some DLC money. Oh shit! A wiz a skeleton wizard. I hope he's not mad. Is the bison mad? Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of skeletons, huh? A lot of them. Wow. Oh nope. He moved.
Welcome back from your nap, Iceman. That's what that is. I think if I feel like if you if you use a salubrious draft from the quick option, it feels like it heals less, maybe? Speaking of. No, okay, I guess that maybe I just have way more health now. Lightning attack is unleashed. The magical energy cannot be contained. Bolts of lightning will branch off and jump to targets in the vicinity, dealing additional damage. Moreover, if a target is drenched uh, and is struck by lightning, the resulting bolts will be able to reach a wider range. What the fuck? What is that? What is that? Move! 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 We gotta move! Ah, I can't... Wait, it's, I think that that's good. I think I want that. Okay. Alright. I think all the skellies are gone now. So I want to be out of that. Yeah. But that makes him... Oh no, he's still there. Kind of hard to, to get him with this character. We are sure to fair pull if we persist without a plan. Plan is to hit him. Hit him until he dies. That's so hard. Nice. I think it's the lightning? Oh shit. Uh, now this reminds me of like Monster Hunter charging up a big old attack just to have your your enemy just kind of float away oh Floated away again. God damn it! <laughs> Shit! Ugh. Yeah, the ragdolling is super, super satisfying. That's where a lot of the game's humor and just like fun spirit comes in. It's awesome because it works both ways. You can ragdoll enemies too. Here we go. Yeah, knocked it down. Oh. 
Oh yeah, I have the, I have that ability where you can like launch your pawn. I just don't have it equipped right now. Ugh, almost got it. Okay, it's down. Oh yeah, and then I think you have to once you get here. I actually got stuck here for a while. Star could heighten the sky's majesty this night. I suppose it's so. It's pretty. Took me a while to figure this out. Oh, he's laying down. That's cute. to get oh there's play there's a way to cross okay oxen are to be found here of all places careful oh. there's ought to be found there can you not see it let us ponder how best to proceed oh those are skeletons more foes I can scarce feel my arm from the last battle I don't like that sound. Oh. What the heck is this bridge? Oh, I passed it already. Battle is best avoided here. Oh fuck, someone died. Pebble. Uh I'm trying to save a child, Pebble. Whoops. Whoops. Whoa. Nope, 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 nope. We gotta save that little boy. How do I get to the other, other riverbank? That's where the flower petals are. Dang it! There we go. I think they're getting summoned. So the, yeah, the mini-map. Oh, there we go. In the scores of that battle for some time yet. We were overconfident in our abilities. It's a painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. I think I'm supposed to be going the other way? Exemplary performance. I just think what we could achieve if we honed our talents further. Your most priority is to douse those flames. I was going to give Pebble a little toss to extinguish him, but he seems fine. Yeah, I remember going downhill for this. 
Oh, Thunderbolt. Yeah, asking... Um, hold on, that's actually a good question. Would playing Dragon's Dogma 1 give me a good sense of this game? I do generally like RPGs. I mean, yeah, actually. If if the price is concerning and you're curious about the game, you can get Dark Arisen for like four bucks. And it scales up really well on PC. You can probably get it even cheaper on Green Man Gaming. Sponsoring today's stream, so worth checking out. Yeah, if if uh, if you're curious and you don't want to go in for 70 bucks, check out Dark Arisen. Um, Dragon's Dogma 2 has some like quality of life stuff. The graphics are way better, but it's a it's a spiritually very very similar kind of game. If you don't like Dragon's Dogma One, you probably will not like Two. Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. <laughs> that's a pretty. That's a pretty uh, low stakes. What the fuck? God damn! All right, this I can handle. Did I miss? Too fast for ya. What? Were there? I'll make them pay for that in gold. Oh, it's five dollars on humble. Perfect. Damn it. How is he allowed to just leave? This is this is a bad trip. I really should have stayed at the end. figure out the uh I need to figure out the subtleties of knocking enemies over by shoving them because I want to do that more I did it a couple times damn it shit the sun's coming up but those wolves haven't eaten that child yet Hey. Back to the business of that child. I expect this would fetch a fair sum at market. Yeah, I think the shove got him that time. It can be a little hard to tell. Perhaps fortune has deigned to aid us at last. Oh, 
Holy shit. No problem. You guys are ice cold killers. I love it. Yon ox cart is broken beyond repair. Be on your guard, lest we meet a similar fate. One cannot be too careful. Bless you. Bubble, I'm sorry. Gotta leave you hanging this time, buddy. Hello, Charlotte. Don't surf. You know how old timey they talk? Yeah, it's it it can be pretty off putting, but then it just kind of settles into really goofy. It honestly reminds me of like the glory days of Bethesda games, Oblivion specifically. The, the formality of the speech kind of married with the robotic goofiness of the NPCs. In Oblivion's case, it was sort of accidental. I think in Dragon's Dogma's case, it's, it's entirely intentional. Mayhaps... Mayhaps is something you have to say while you're, like, drumming your fingers on your belly. Just like... Mm, <laughs> mayhaps... Perchance. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Oh, that child is getting chomped. Not on my watch. Vin Diesel protects the children. Sir, I... I can hardly believe it. Thank you. I would not be standing here without you. How did you know where I was? Did Grandfather request your help? I suppose he must be worried sick about me. You know what I'm reminded of? I'm reminded of an old friend. An old friend. What? Oh! Come on. Here we go. Old pal. Old buddy. I think about him sometimes. Here we go. If it's all the same to you, sir, I think I'd like to go home now. Making our report ought to be our next priority. God. It's just like a smooth ridge all the way down. Not quite hill ass. Hank Hill butt. Got to keep it together. Alright, here we go. One rescue coming up. Those little arms are waggling. Every little thing you find, and your pack will soon outweigh you. Well, I know it, yet I cannot seem to resist. 
You too? I'm glad I'm not the only one. Grass patterned camping kit? Huh. Can never have too many materials. I'll harvest some now. Oh, huh? packs heavy as a sack of rocks. There might even be a few in here. I've got to stop picking up every little thing. That's interesting how the NPCs even start to warn you against picking up everything. I don't know. In, in these kinds of games, it feels like it's always a... Uh, after a while, you're supposed to settle into understanding what items are worth picking up and which ones aren't. This game's actually pretty tolerant of you picking up everything. But yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I've always been surprised that there isn't a whole lot of messaging in games about like, yeah, we put a lot of items in here, but you don't have to take them all. Starfield was pretty egregious about that. After a while, I was like, these items do nothing. Like, there's no reason to have any of them. I might need it for crafting, but also... Like, I only need four things, and it's fa it's faster to just go find them or buy them or whatever. After we call on you to carry the burdens, we cannot. I must thank you. Your toil keeps me light on my feet. But they really did narrow down the scope of the items in two. Um, the fact that it's just like herbs and fruit, and those combine into direct healing items. There's really not a whole lot of just flaff that's kind of floating around. Flaff. That's a word. We're not flaffing. Up, Steph. Oh. Okay. One second. I'm gonna say bye to Steph. I'll be right back. I'm <laughs> back. Excuse me. Follow me. I'm back. I ate a sandwich, or rather, I ate half a sandwich, and then I flossed. So, the good news is, I'm all snacked up. Steph's uh, Steph's away on hair business. She's getting her hair done. You know what that means. What is that? Game time. Nay, a statue. Nay. In this distance, I cannot be sure. We shall have to make our way over to it. Oh, Pebble's so slow. I, lo I, I slowed him down. Maybe we can share the load. Oh, he's too far away. Yeah, Bleakersburg. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Steph's chosen shade of hair is, is amazing. He's still going for it, though. He's still picking stuff up. It's actually directly inspired by the movie Run, Lola, Run, if you're familiar with that. I'm a huge fan of that movie, too. So it makes sense. It makes sense. Rumble Rut? Uh, no. Run... Lola, run. You'll hurt yourself one of these days. Oh. You know, kind of like, or I guess Lola Rent, R-E-N-N-T, the German name. German film, definitely in retrospect, has a lot of that kind of like high, high energy, late 90s spirit. But holy shit, is it awesome. And the, uh, the soundtrack is phenomenal. I still think about the soundtrack. It's like it, oxen are to be found here, of all places. The t the name of the movie kind of gives it away, but it's phenomenal running music. Good workout music. Man, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good to get back to town, get a full night's rest, turn in a quest or two. I guess I'm gonna have to just buy this orb. It's not that expensive. That just seems like an odd way to resolve this quest. I guess the quest is really who are you going to give it to? More clothes. I can. One of those movies that has no structure, but it all makes sense anyways. It's got a. It kind of has a structure. It just takes a while to for its structure to click. Ooh. 
what I it's an interesting mix of like having having like Telling an interesting story through the lens of, of something supernatural and having that supernatural element be somewhat predictable, but also not fully explained. I don't know. It's a cool mix. Did you get your chair care or you need to get your character cheeked up? No, I don't. Vin Diesel doesn't need cheeks to be a worldwide creative force. Burning Apollo 4. It's a hell of a name. Thanks for the sub. Seeing what's inside is half the fun. This one's fun on my PS5. It's not on the base M2 though. I don't know that the I don't know that like onboard storage or expansion storage would change performance all that much. The PS5 like it it mandates a certain transfer speed to be able to use a, a attachment storage, right? I thought it would like inspect it. And see if it's cool before it would format it. What am I supposed to do about it? Vin doesn't need to do legs. That's the takeaway here. How often are his legs in the shot? We have arrived. Raj? Raj? Is that you, my boy? Hello, grandfather. There he is. It is a miracle. You're alive and in one piece. Oh, joy of joys. I thought ne'er to lay eyes on you again. Grandfather, you're smothering me. Oh, hush. You don't get to complain of such things after you've worried me half to death. I'm very sorry, Grandfather. I didn't mean to cause you grief. Grandfather. You Words alone will ne'er be enough to express the depth of my gratitude. I am truly in your debt. Pray, take this. Tis naught but a trifle in comparison to your kindness, but I hope you will accept it all the same. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. Mm. Thank you. Imagine having to say thank you to this. Oh goodness. Hello, barbarian lady. Like, we'll get along. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Look at us. Look at us. Two, two of a kind here. His hurt face is pretty awesome. Laundry's done. <clears throat> Alright, I can finally take a take a little sleep. Take a little nap. <laughs> He's like an egg. <laughs> the sovereign's retinue makes to fell the dragon at last. Twas a remarkable recovery, really. The man was burnt to a Yeah, I'll keep the grass one. It was like one kilogram lighter, which was kind of cool. I, and I, yet again, I'm kind of confused. I guess camping kits don't get consumed. You can use them forever as long as you have one. I think is how it works. Oh, that's cool. It automatically s popped together. Oh! I got him better armor and I didn't put it on. My poor, my poor pebble. doing business with you. Yeah, I like that you can see his arms. 
That's cool. I wonder if I take the cape off. Oh, he just gets shoulder pads. You can see more of the arms, though. I like that. Yeah, your pawns can hold it. <clears throat> I was using my pawn for uh, camp camping gear storage. But this time around, I'm the big fellow. So if I give my pawn the camping the gear, it actually makes it, makes it, it overloads him right off the top. Twas our end. Shouldn't be average encumbrance right now. What am I holding? I mean, I guess there's the kit, but still. I thought I was able to get to light. I guess I don't need three of those, but that's not that's not heavy. Well, hold on. There's a better way to do this. Sort by weight. I guess I do have I do have more or new gear. It might just be heavier gear. And yeah, that's two. But the, like, the, by definition, the exact second you want to use a port crystal is when you are furthest from item storage. So it's like, if you ever find a place that's good to put a port crystal down, it's the least convenient in the entire game to go back to item storage and get it and come back to where you are. So I kind of want to keep that in my inventory, lest I happen upon one such, huh, one such a... Reduce the chance of debilitations. Strength, defense. Okay, it's cool to have those. This dragon's gaze. Yeah, the books I should probably use, but beyond that. Oh, cure drenched. Yeah, various healing items. Maybe it's just getting to the point where the spread of healing items I have is enough. Markable recovery. What's that? Soothing brew. Yeah, it's like they have different, they have different Roburns, but they're all kind of the same tier of healing. So it all compresses, like it does, it's pretty smart. The crafting system doesn't spiral out in complexity, it kind of focuses in. Uh, and it's like two layers deep, basically. To get to a variety of, of usable things or d like direct healing items. I don't know what you can use lantern oil for, because everything that goes bad. <laughs> kind of... Yeah, like Saurian Tails become be like supercharged healing. And you just launder it through one crafting step, which still makes it feel like you're doing something. The man was burned to a crisp. All right, let's sleep. You shall finally. hear me complain about an early repose. Well, Media, I think a 3080 will handle this game just fine. You'll just, you'll just dip below 60 FPS in the main city. I feel like that's kind of it. Manifold were the lessons I learned on this journey. I uncovered much, venturing to places and dangerous and remote. These experiences shall aid me in further honing my skills. Ah, uh, no one got me a golden trove beetle, but I did get a scrag of beast and a potato. So thank you, Jin and Viridian. Thank you, thank you. I got a heart and a thumbs up. Just as daunting to battle Cyclopes there as here. And taking aim at their eyes, no less thrilling. Our adventure continues. Off we go then. Wait, I do want to take a piece of meat with me because I like camping. Oh, okay, I did dump all that crafted stuff into my inventory. Ah, oh, that's fine. Feeling rested? The Sovereign's retinue makes to fell the dragon at last. Twas a remark. Yeah, salubrious drafts don't combine into anything better, I don't think. They're just kind of base healing items. Recovery, really. 
The man was burned to a crisp. All right. Many thanks. Okay. On to the next thing. Oh yeah, jadeite orb. Ah, oh, I wonder what that symbol means. Does that mean my pawn has done that quest in somebody else's game? Because there's the one and the two symbol, and then there's this one. I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, Pebble's going. It's a thankless job, this. this journey will be a long one. What say we employ an ox cart and save our feet? The Where is he going? This is the Jadeite Orb quest. A choice to make, though I certainly wouldn't begrudge the chance to put my feet up. Maybe he's taking me to where the orb is. So I don't have to buy it. Oh, you can. F oh, I could forge it and give it to both. Yeah. Good point, Captain. Then I guess who gets the who gets the the fake? Probably the rich guy, right? Fuck the rich guy. Oh, they got his ass. Well, it means a pawn in your party has done it. Ah. Okay, cool. I actually haven't, I haven't seen this in action yet. So I'm excited to see how this goes. And you know what? If it's like kind of relating back to the, the 420 stoner gamers analysis of the manner in which this game sort of doesn't guide you as much. If if he just takes me right there and points to it and says, here it is. That is kind of your, your more traditional signposting for a quest. Instead of a glowing trail, they they managed to couch the uh, the glowing arrow in the game, which is always really smart. Blue means never done it. Orange means has. Oh, well, how does he know how? Wh Where is he going then? Where is he taking me? Hmm. Right. Well, let's let's ride this out then. He seems to know what he's doing. I love the way that the subtitles fade in at a distance. No rest for the weary, it seems. We will be hard pressed to find victory here if we cannot heal our wounds. Oh. Orange with the two means two pawns have done the quest. I thought it meant the second pawn slot. Because that's also the icon. Yeah, that's the icon that's on it here. It's super, super tiny, but like right here, it's the same thing. So I assume that that's what the, it meant in the quest marking. That it, like if it has the one or the two. But I guess there's, yeah, there's a possibility that both have done it. So it wouldn't necessarily be one or the other. Hmm. Oh shit. Give me that. Give me it. Oh shit, there's a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes here. Oh. Oh fuck. Fuck. Shouldn't be here. Shouldn't be here. Oh. Game as bad as people are saying. Not even close. Not even close. Dis hashtag disclosure. I'm getting sponsored by Green Man Gaming right now. In coordination with this game. But hey. Uh, oh! Sick! Never done that before. Oh, damn. <laughs> All right. 
I don't know. Seems pretty good to me. <laughs> PKO nut. Thanks for gifting 10 subs. Sheesh. PK, that's that's extremely generous of you. Thank you. Look at this guy. Take this with my thanks. Just, it puts a banana in my hand. <laughs> nope. It's two stoutness extracts. Alright. He gave me a Red Bull. <laughs> a shaken up room temperature Red Bull. My thanks. <laughs> Damn, that was sick, though. I twirled that dude around. Gave him a twirl. It's kind of surprising, like, the, the payoff is... There's still payoff to using this stupid class beyond just bopping dudes real hard. Oh, I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? I love that, uh, I love that Fat Leon just sits down. Whew. But PK, thank you very much. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a good Saturday. What? Why did you bring me here? Pebble. He's not... He's not... He's not leading me anywhere anymore. Yeah, I, uh... I was feeling lazy, so I ordered delivery for myself and the missus from a local bakery. But in so doing, also like got some coffee beans and like a, a loaf of sourdough. So that way it feels like I'm ordering groceries. And what's more, what's more rustic? It's more folksy than ordering a, a full loaf of bread. Huh. That's supporting local, baby. Just killed a cyclops by tricking it into a tar slime and then setting that on fire and it fucking blew up. <laughs> This game rules. Oh, so there are slimes like made out of stuff. The only slimes I've found are just like green. Oh. Oh, you're bad. Wow, he was just chilling. Now he's chilling forever. Took his money and his potato shavings. Oh, Psst. wait, have I already, I guess I've already used, used this? Find one, I must say. Drivers can be a decent source of gossip. Oh, hello? Give me a moment to think. This ox cart's bound for Vernworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. I don't need to go to Vernworth. No, I still have to do the Jadeite Orb thing. I mistakenly thought that my, uh, that Pebble had a hot tip. Did you hail that cart? Was it on a set path? Yeah, it was just outside. I didn't do anything. That's, that's what I'm curious about, about the carts, is like... I think they actually just travel around on a set schedule and you can just get on if you happen to see them. Um, so I'm curious if you board one at a city and you doze off, does it actually pass like in game time equal to if you were just straight up sitting there the whole time? Because God, it's so slow. But I guess it doesn't truly matter. I don't, there's probably, like I wonder for timed quests, will there ever be a, a point where they tempt you with an ox cart ride? That's what I'm curious about. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. We Love that this game doesn't have fast travel. Use them when the need arises. I like that too. I think that being in the open world and traversing it is like, it's not trivial. Which I think is the problem with most games. Um, you're constantly making decisions. Being being lured into ad side paths and explorations that lead to other spiraling events. Sir Murden stopped taking visitors after his lady wife passed. He's not the friendliest of neighbors, 
though, I can't think he's a bad sort. Shame there aren't as many folks spinning. T I rather enjoyed hearing the one about it said to descend in time. <laughs> Sounds like the last thing. Can't leave my post, Anna. Okay. I guess I'll just go buy it. Hi. Is there all? I'll just go buy it. I'm just grateful to still. It's weird because I'm trying to remember. He he just lost it, right? Pray, sir, seek out the Jade Idol. As for where to look, you could try asking a bandit or someone who's apprised. Oh yeah. I kind of want to follow up on the banditry stuff though, because I'm curious what that would lead to. And as far as I can tell, they're hinting this? The, yeah, the nameless village. That's in Vernworth. Okay. Do you think I can catch up to the ox cart? Let's see. I think it was going down this road here. Wait, if it was that road, then I would probably would have revealed it. Yeah, wait, no, it was this road. Maybe I just didn't get that far. Where was the tower? <laughs> Remember there being a tower. Uh, was it this? An ox cart can't go that way. It was probably this. So we're just going to try to bust on down this road and see if I can catch up to the ox cart. All right. Bustin, bustin, bustin. There's another one? What is this all about? It's a fancy one. I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. Oh? Wait, there's no one in there. Are you fond of those eyes? Keep them to yourself. <laughs> Look at how fancy it is. Huh. Maybe if I level up enough, I can take the nice carriage. Also, why isn't... Why isn't Miles healing ever? Maybe Miles doesn't have anodyne? It was a core skill, though. Or is that a sorcerer? Oops! Maybe... Uh, thought I was about to... I think that's a sorcerer. I don't think sorcerers have anodyne. Well, I mean, there's a waystone here. I guess I could... Portal stone, whatever the heck it's called. Stone stone. Did you see an ox cart? Holy fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Where the venom half is venom. The venom venom. The venom venom venom. Where's that cart? How do you find motivation to do the things you don't want to do? Hmm. Bargain? Find ways to to make it easier or better? Whatever it is you're like like if you have to do the dishes or whatever. Then I guess put in put in some headphones and listen to some good music and just be like, okay. That's what that's what I'm about. I'll I'll listen to some jams and that'll make it better. Oh. We nearly killed this guy. Is that Garfield? I'll carefully conserve it's my Frank. strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. I think what would Vin Diesel do? And then I don't do it and pay someone else to while I leer at them from the other room and practice my raps. Ah! Ameliorate the task. Yeah. Yeah, that's the smart way to say it. Spoonful of sugar. I should do I should do dishes actually. I'm real behind on dishes. Uh I can't find that cart. Or I went the wrong way. Where 
am I going? Oh, you know what? Now that I have my own bot, I wonder if I... Well, I guess there's probably a Twitch maximum. But I figured out timers. Actually, it wasn't that hard. But that means I can do a bunch of other goofy stuff now. Jeez. That's what I get for stopping. I just wanted to do a whimsical box toss. Man, look at that vista, though. Ugh. No! You are going the wrong way. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. What? Well, the this checkpoint's bound for Melv. Oi. Well and true. It's what happens when you get crushed by the power of Vin. Twelve liters of diesel. Where the hell am I going? <sighs> Shit. All right. I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here. Is this like a riverbed or something? Huh. May I show you to its location? Nah. Good. Let's take a nap though. Ooh, this is pretty. I haven't come through this way before. I have had enough of this last witch hunter bashing. I enjoyed that damn movie. Oh, I have a little tent. Um, I tried to enjoy that movie. Steph, Steph was complaining at the movie the whole time. Oh, I don't have any. Like a campfire to strengthen the bonds of fellowship. I don't have any food. Oh, glad to commiserate with anyone who's willing to share their blunders. This is nice. I was on a plane and drunk. Yes, <laughs> that's the perfect time and place and way to watch Last Witch Hunter. I tried to watch it sober, and yeah. Steph was am amazingly able to yell over the whole film. It was actually quite hard to follow. <laughs> and now I'm galled by the implication, or even by the idea of paying more money to watch it again. I hope you slept well. Been on hold with my Walgreens for 17 minutes. It's 10 minutes away. Should I just go there at this point? Maybe, or you could do another household task while you're on hold. Get something else done. That way you're like compressing time. Maximizing later video game time. I've watched it another two times afterwards, completely drunk off my ass. What is it about Vin Diesel-led films that make one want to just get blisteringly drunk? Are we leaving already? Oh, I was just getting warmed up.
I really should have taken the ox cart. I don't know what I'm thinking. Should have just waited and taken the cart. That was the proper thing to do. Oh yeah, I've also vocationed up. I should check skills. I do like killing big things, though. Though we are less fleet of foot. Whoop! Don't let him do it. Whoa. Frickin' Miles is Professor X floating around. Oh! You safeguard the arisen, and I'll handle the remote. That was pretty cool. Continue our on and the behemoth will soon drop. Watch and leave the charge. Oh, I'm gonna chop his pee pee. shove more reliably. Maybe barging is what to do as this class. That's gaming, baby. Gaming. Skin co-op. Actually, no, it's not. Materials makes for dull work indeed. It's pretty explicitly single player, um, but it tries to mimic. It, it it mimics. It's the facsimile of multiplayer, I guess. You have other party members, and they can be made by other players, but you don't play directly with other people. Yeah, Powderfinger. The fluidity of those hits and, like, the animations matching is really, really good. The hit detections are are clean in this game. Such as this can be combined to craft things. Which is, like, you see your weapon collide with parts of their body and, like, the effects match where the collisions happen. Uh, they reel from the appropriate spot. It all looks really good in motion. Really, really good. Do the other puns level up, or do you have to constantly switch them out as you get stronger? It's the second one, yeah. Your 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 other two party slots are uh, basically meant to be like a rotating spot for other people's pawns. So as you level up, yeah, you you, you bid adieu to those that have stuck by you and, and hire up new level appropriate ones. Ooh, Akai. Akai dies? Akai Ds? These Akais? Thank you very much for the sub. Hey, Spookjack. I'm enjoying the game quite a bit. Um, I, uh, it, it, it is kind of the perfect about this one. union of a bunch of things that I particularly like in games. Kind of open-ended player-authored experiences. A very technically advanced. This game is is a stunner, I think, visually. 
it's just fun to run around because the the game is such an Id idyllic fantasy open world. With the discount at 60, yes. The Green Man Gaming discount, 14% off Dragon's Dogma right now. Thanks to this stream sponsor, Green Man Gaming. But yeah, uh, if you if you don't have a lot of money to throw around, I encourage you to be responsible. Uh, if money's a concern, I suggested previously, maybe just check out the original game, Dark Arisen. It's also extremely fun to play. Uh, has a, has a lot of the same energy of this game. But yes, as uh, Bleakersburg is very accurate. You can also use that 14% to buy snacks. Imagine Dragon's Dogma 2 and snacks. No one else gives you the snack advantage. That's Green Man Gaming. The one with snacks, TM. <laughs> I recently played Dark Arisen and I think it I think it modernized very well. Now, what might that be? And I think in the way that Ponder, how best to proceed. Mm, Ponder. I think in the way that this game is pretty technically advanced. Uh and will probably ripen uh, on on better hardware. That's kind of what Dark Arisen did. I'm not saying it looks like uh, it doesn't look as good as this game by far, but it's still a, uh, it's still an impressive game. Runs and plays well. How do you get up there if you're not a thief? Hmm. Hmm. Look at it. Look at it shining and taunting me. Jump. Okay, I'll jump. Vin! Oh! Almost made it. Can you, like... Can you try to scrape your way up the wall? Nah, no way. Throw a pawn? Pawns don't pick them up for you, unfortunately. Because I, I vaulted a uh, pebble up there and he just kind of stood there. But also, I could try to throw a pawn. So let's do it. You wish me to return at once, Master? Oh yeah, flew over there. Sork privilege. I think that might be it. I, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to uh, to have some secret tokens you have to be a particular class to get to. Save your strength for our enemies, Arisen! Especially if, uh... <laughs> right. And... Away! Whoop! Nope. Alright. I collided on the wall there. Hmm. And he... Oh! Hmm. Oh, you can grab onto a harpy? Oh! I didn't know you could do that. Ride him like a cuckoo. Oh, is that why there's harpy bait? So let me do it from the let me do it from the top. Yeah, James, you could just chuck dudes. Most NPCs, you can just pick them up and huck them around. That was true of the original Dark Arisen as well. Alright, all oh, bees whip. He's gonna wake up with a weird kink in his back. go. This is a powerful weapon. A silver bolt 
used from it would carry tremendous lethal force. Let us make you. All right, I'm not going to worry about that one right now. No doubt we'll catch our foes unawares. We'll come back later for that one. <sighs> where does... I'm trying to remember the other cart goes. Wait, where does the other cart go? Oh, Melv. Yeah. Blech. All right. This one I've got to... I think I still have to walk it out. Yeah. Yeah. I actually don't have much of a reason to go to to go to Vernworth right now. So keep going. Have we purchased all that we require? We ought to review the contents of our packs, just to be sure. We're fine. We're fine. Ooh. That person's not though. Oh, I guess, yeah, I can turn in that. I'll wait to find out what's inside. Well done. Cool. Having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. What say we pelt one at the next foe we encounter? Warrior, so tanking this game, or are you over leveled? I'm pretty over leveled for for these enemies, but also Warrior has a specific mechanic where if you're charging up an attack. You take way less damage during that charge. It's kind of designed for you to charge through getting hit. So, that might be part of it. <clears throat> but also, yeah, I'm a... <clears throat> I've been playing a bit, and this is the area, like, right outside of the first capital city. So these are also kind of low-level enemies. Uh, there... <clears throat> God damn it. Night Jam, there are other biomes. I actually have quests to go to them now. There's another country you go to that's more of like a desert area, I think. I only just got there in my other playthrough. <laughs> Fucking shit. All right, fine, all right. Yeah, I, the original Dragon's Dogma started to get wackier locales the further you got in the game. And Zark Arisen goes to some pretty fantastic territory by the end of it. But a majority of the game is kind of like pretty standard RPG fantasy land trotten. This reminds me, I want to play the Xenoblade games. It's this way, as I recall, from my last sojourn beyond the rift. God. I'm gonna miss you, Fat Leon. I actually probably do need to, uh, cycle out my pawns, because gosh. What are they? Yeah, I'm level 22, 16. A full week has passed since Sir Mildred set off. I suppose it's time we vacated her dwelling. Yeah, Spookjack, I think this game is gorgeous. Also, seriously no loading. I mean, I guess you don't have, like, a car or a horse. But it's still pretty cool to be able to walk, like, from here, through the castle gates, into the castle city, into a shop, and talk directly to an NPC. Kind of like in one unbroken stride. I suppose we might as well gather what we can. They got that disease that gives them ideas about self-determination? Not yet. 
Haven't heard a, haven't heard a lot of that. But yeah. The free will infection starts to spread apparently. Good tidings, friend. How have you been keeping? As for me, I made the most of my week-long sojourn. One might even say I enjoyed myself over much. You see, I grew so fond of the destination my feet carried me off to, methinks I should like to live there. And that's when I thought, mayhap you've grown just as fond of this dwelling. Fond enough to purchase it from me? I can't just give it to you, mind. I've my relocation costs to consider, but I'd sell it to you cheap as I can afford. Well, friend, what say you? Much obliged, friend. You can I get a discount or anything. With our deal as I am. This little dwelling's all yours now. Suppose I'd best be off. I've my own home to get to. I hope you'll be happy here, friend. Farewell. <laughs> Vin's done it. And now a, a homeowner. He's on the wealth ladder. Maybe he can finance a movie. You the Arisen. I've been looking for you. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. Interesting. I wonder if I wonder if that's timed. Oh, it does it doesn't give you a quest. <sighs> that means he's in the castle, which means at night. I should probably follow up on that while I'm here. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Have you found any of the items we just Ring of vehemence. Oh, hell yeah. More likely to stagger and knock down? That's exactly what I want. Catapult launch? Whoosh. Flings allies further into greater heights. Tidal Fury. Monumentous counterattack if the user struck the moment of activation. Guard against target strikes even should a counterattack fail. Sound about brace, you'll automatically counterattack. Hmm. Nullbreaker doesn't feel like Heaven's Word Sunder feels like it does what Nullbreaker does. I'm curious about a, a counter though. Her tenacity. <laughs> Pebbles got these like, ooh. Nah, we'll just keep it there. Pebbles got all these like legendary abilities now. Always a pleasure. Pebble has really, uh, really matured. Pebble uses uh, Helm Splitter a lot or whatever, so that's good. All right, well, I guess I will... I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace, discussing a curious... I'll wait until night. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Regent and an important personage, perchance? Aye. Tell is, her ties to this figure from the neighboring country have a romantic tint. <laughs> <laughs> Chaser Boy 88. Thank you very much for the sub. 44 months, that's half of 88. What does it mean? It means I'm going to press this button. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. All right, we got to go see our lad. You have to be uh, up to date on matters of the realm. Time to head to market, me thinks. That's a house. That is a house. Sorry, I've run into your home. I'm sorry about that. Imagine that big sweaty meat missile barging into your house. Oh, what does this say? It couldn't hurt to take a peek. I'm wondering if I can just sort of walk into the castle. And just 
walk in. Uh, do you know how long you'll be? I, I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. <laughs> he sits down after like 30 so seconds. What we can do is just wait. Oh. Thank you, Gabagoras. Yeah, I... I don't know. Games Media is, is kind of in a weird spot. Everyone kind of just expects solidarity and and uh, tabloid. That's what people seem to enjoy and want to consume. So in a way, it's like it's it's tough trying to operate a business where you're knowingly not. I don't know. I guess it, I guess if it keeps happening, we're gonna intentionally. Uh, what am what am I trying to say? I just hope there's enough of an audience for that version of it or what we do so far there is so that's good i think that's the door all right sneaking in through the guardhouse which seems uh, counterintuitive but <laughs> But yes, thank you very much. Thank you. It's interesting to see the comments. There's a there's a pretty fair mix. There's like people who just want to dunk and believe so so thoroughly in the most dunkable version of events that that's what they're there to do and they almost kind of resent any suggestion that that the situation could be otherwise. Where is Hold on. Guest chambers. Allard's chambers. Watchtower. Is his is his room marked? Guardhouse, training ground. Jail tower. Hmm. I guess I'll just poke around. Be around here, right? No? What about down here? So what I'm curious about. Ah, okay. The little flag only shows up once you've been there. And the, the title pops up. Okay. Ah, perfect. Hello, lad. I heard from Captain Brant that you plan to make for Batal in order to continue your investigation. As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. Is this harder like souls are in between? Uh, no, I wouldn't say it's a souls kind of thing. It can be like that. So you, you can be going about your business in the open world and then just like a troll attacks you or a dragon drops on top of you. So it's like if you want to if you want to try to fight the big stuff, I guess it can kind of feel like a souls game. But I would say by and large, no, you're mostly running around, beating up smaller enemies, leveling up. Using items. Uh, yeah, it's mostly that kind of thing. I'd say it's, honestly, it feels more like a Skyrim. Elden Ring has this, like, oppressive atmosphere, and it does have pretty wild bosses. But I would say the, the like, open world aspects of Elden Ring kind of feel like this game. Where you're walking around, and there's some enemies here and there, but you can mostly just, like, slap them with your sword and they die. Ah, oh, Crickshank. Crickshank95, thanks for the compliment. Appreciate that. Is a letter she discarded, yeah. Half I need to have. I need to have. Uh, I need to have more faith in our voice. It seems to be addressed to someone called Phasus. Phasus. I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp oh, yeah. its meaning. Oh, here, 
I thought it best that you have it. Mayhap you could glean aught from it that I could not. And if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if you've the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course. Of course. Investigate the letter. Expressing her gratitude for God's for the gift of God's way. A God's way. The name Phasus jumps off the page. Guess I can talk about this with Brant. Oh, you can get fancy clothes from his room, too. Nice. Will I be disgustingly overleveled if I do all the side content? <clears throat> yeah, probably. It's mostly about kind of it's it's an intersection of level and gear. If you side quest, you'll probably have enough money to buy the most expensive gear as soon as it's available, which will probably put you ahead of, of like most level curves. That said, the like the beefy bosses that have multiple HP bars won't still don't just fold for you. Ah, can't, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, somebody saw me. Oh shit, did I just save? Kenny, uh, <laughs> uh-oh, I think I may have gotten too close to the door. Uh, if you're interested in buying the game, do check out, or if you're, if you're playing on PC, check out Green Man Gaming. They're sponsoring today's stream, but they're also selling Dragon's Dogma 2 for 40, 14% off. Get out of here, get out of here, Vin. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, shit. Maybe they'll forget? Nope. <laughs> what the? They tackle me? Oh no, I'm getting arrested. I'm not seasoned enough for this. I think you can bribe the guard to get out? Let's see. If you perform dubious deeds in cities, on castle grounds, or in other such places where order is enforced, you may find yourself surrounded by the guard, after which you will be arrested and thrown in jail. There are a number of paths to escape, but speaking with the jailer on watch is a good place to start. Yeah, if I had made a copy of the jail key, I could just walk right out. Maybe. I mean, they probably take all my stuff, actually. Yeah. Oh. It's also this. Did you just get all your stuff back? You sure do. Awesome. As I recall, the location of another of our tasks is not too far from here. We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. That's a little goofy. Please. Isn't that a little silly, Dragon's Dogma? Kitsune Creations. Thanks for the 51 months of subs. You say it's crazy. I don't think the jail can hold you. You can easily slip through the bars and buy the guards with that Hank Hill ass you got. Or just punch through the fucking wall. That's right. That's Vin style right there. Oh, you did. Great. Thank you, Kenny. Hey, slow your feet! You run too fast for the likes of me! No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Alright, what was I up to? Oh yeah. Probably need to talk to Brant about the letter.
investigate the intent behind the unfinished letter. Well, how the heck am I supposed to do that? Investigate the intent. There's nothing. There's there really no other clues. All right. Well, I will go to my house. Whoop. Drop all this stuff off. Yeah, it's time for some brains. Time for some big brain. I'll take another nap and try to talk to Brant uh, and see if see if there's anything that pops up about the letter. Apart from that, I'll have to start flexing my gamer IQ. I do. I don't know how heavy this game is going to be on that quests that were kind of require you to make leaps of logic to figure out what to do. I should probably give some of these to uh, my pawns and stuff so they can heal. Don't need that much oil either. I mean, I do, you know, but, you know. So wait, if you walk back into the jail after you've escaped, does your stuff disappear again? I doubt it. I think you just get it all back and then you can turn around and do whatever you need. What am I gonna do? Oh yeah. Maybe it just goes bad slower in storage. Man, it's getting windy outside. What the heck? Okay, interesting. Can't remember what you need to combine with meat and stuff like that to make the bigger healing items. Or with these. Yeah, dried meats, dried spuds. Can we wish one more time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Sleep till night. Again. I have no issue falling asleep. Try not to get arrested this time. It is kind of nice that the stakes of getting arrested are low. More adventures. On this journey, I shared in the cares of those I met. I uncovered much, venturing to places and dang dangerous and remote. Suffice to say, I'm glad tis over and relieved to be back. Pawn traveled with dog. Traveling in other worlds is all very exciting, but I'd sooner stay by your side, Arisen. I'm glad you're here, Pebble. Mm, night time already? My thoughts was rather dark. Step right. lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. A new day. A new perspective. Oh, he's not there. Oh, here he is. You have my fullest confidence. The way to Batal, when you arrive, is there aught else you would speak of? Do not forget that we- That's it? He's got nothing. Nothing. Shoot, I have no leads then. Maybe, maybe this is when cycling out pawns would be good. Speaking of, I hate to do it, but I do actually probably need to, to swap out Fat Leon. Uh, we'll see what we can do, and then we're going to head over to the uh, Thieves, fascinating tale, those thieves Den. The palace we're discussing. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Regent and an important personage, perchance? I actually should probably swap out the Sorcerer, too, because I need a healer. That helps a lot.
Are, I guess, are, um, wizards the only, yeah, wizards are the only class that have healing? Main pawn. Yeah, we will miss you, Fat Leon. Yeah, they show the skills from the get-go. It's all on the nameplate. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff in Dragon's Dogma 2 that's like very pointed and smart quality of life updates. That's one of them. The ability to like turn on and off the, the lantern just from uh just from baseline controls is super, super good. Hello, Sam. I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. <laughs> yeah, Burning Apollo, I gave him the Hercules aesthetic. I'm pretty sure he had his goatee when he did Hercules too, right? I think. All right, goodbye, Fat Leon, your hero. Uh, I should give him like a big chunk of meat, right? Ah, that's right, it's all in storage. A fine harp spud robert. Be well, Arisen. I'm not one for tearful goodbyes, but I must admit, I've grown rather fond of you. Till next Let's time. work together to honor the Arisen's trust. All right. Welcome aboard, Sam. Goodbye, Fat Leon. <sighs> Maybe we'll run into each other again someday. on the subject of the written word as Magistrate Waldar. Shall we show him the letter? Yes, we shall. Oh, yes, I know just where to find this person. Follow me. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Oh, you're, you're doing it. Look at that, though. Am I going to have to kick this dude out of bed? So I can ask him about a letter. This game has ruined your sleeping pattern. Moment I've been waiting for. Allow me. Having a good time, then, huh? Oh, that's right. He's down in the catacombs. Wow, I forgot about this guy. Yes, of course, he's the one to ask. We have another matter to attend to in this. Ah, man. Shall we head there now? It would save us having to make the trip again. Why do you think Jade Orb is here? I think they just bring up other quests randomly. I mislike it here. Peril seems to lurk around everything. <laughs> you were sipping your drink? You gotta watch out. Memes are gonna get you. Whoa. Are they fight? Oh, there's like spiders. That's right. Douse the flames before it is too late. Right, nerd. Where are you? My magic with yours. That you might cast the spell more quickly. Wait, what? That's cool. What he's doing down there? Still stepping on spiders? This might be worth a read. A thorough perusal might- Good. We're here. Tensions twixt Vermund and Batal reached their peak 40 years ago, when both nations were de devastated by a prolonged bout of bad weather that resulted in successive crop failures. Hard times turned the starving populaces against one another eventually culminating in a desperate clash of several hundred soldiers that produced no victors, resulting only in more ceaseless deaths. Upon the side of the hmm, site of this battle now stands a cenotaph in memory of the fallen. Hey, we were there. Oh, there he is. What is it? Have you brought me something to sate my unquenchable thirst for knowledge? A book, perchance. Hmm. 
No, oh, a letter, is it? Let's see here. Oh. But know that tonight the moon shall again be shrouded in a veil of gossamer clouds, awaiting the return of the sun's warming glow. Well, well. I'd not thought these of the capacity for such refinement. <laughs> Tis a love letter of a sort. One oh. on ancient symbolism to convey its message. The moon represents a woman, the sun, a man. Put simply, what this letter means to communicate is, I miss you. We needed a scholar for that? Okay. You know what? Vin's not a reader. <laughs> Vin's a doer. A surprisingly saccharine sentiment coming from the Queen Regent. Would you not agree? I know not who this Phasus is, though tis safe to say that Disa is rather invested in him. What concerns me is this Godsway mentioned in the first line. If we can take this letter at its word, and twas indeed granted to the Queen Regent, we can surmise that it must be something tangible, an object. I guess I'm curious if the letter is there before you get cued to go talk to what's his name. And I'm not one for pointless conjecture. I suspect someone of Batali heritage might be able to tell you more. Hmm. Hmm. Someone of Batali heritage. Well, I mean, I I am going to Batal eventually. Interesting, 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 interesting. Well, my pawn probably knows the next step, too. Let's see if I swap. Do any of my pawns go off? One of the bandits in Vernworth's jail know of the methods employed by thieves and their ilk. I can guide you there if you wish. Indeed, you are correct. Hmm. In Vernworth's jail. Just notice the panties. Why is Vin wearing panties? He's wearing combat boots. For combat, which he frequently enters. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. Let us proceed with caution. Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. You guys covered WB deleting Adult Swim games and how we owe nothing at all. Yeah, I hate the digital he era. Here, he's only gotten worse. Uh, maybe? The sad truth is we pick stories based on popular that. appeal. But you must Gotta report the biggest the possible headlines for maximum maximum show reach and growth. So the dynamic is is WB deleting games that a lot of people care about? I don't know. Most like, people kind of have voted with their eyeballs and they kind of don't care about that. It's concerning, but it's it's like no one, there's not a meaningful alternative and people aren't willing, aren't going to be willing to change their entire means of consumption around it, you know? That's one of those, like, it is what it is and that's kind of what people have decided. Meek Shonos, thanks for the sub. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Most of the games had almost no players. Internet is just upset to get upset. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not cool. Um, it sucks. But... That's kind of where the conversation ends, so there's not a whole lot left to say. 
what will probably happen is that the day after they fully get taken down, they'll be back up on archive.org or something like that. Back up on, uh, you know, some my abandonware. So, ironically, it'll probably be easier and cheaper than ever to play them as soon as WB actually delists them. Gonna try the game now, have fun. All right, Zumbini, good luck. May, may Itsuno send you 60 frames per second. Home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. You would gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know- Oh, Mando, thank you for the raid. I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in Mondo, particular we excuse me. afford to run out of. An official resume. Fantastic. Let's see it. Let me see that cover letter. Because I can bring you what you need. You procure it yourself. I am grateful beyond words. And apparently that's paychecks. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We gotta find some miasmite. Let me let me see that cover letter. <laughs> Can Mondo find me a miasmite times one? This is it. This is the resume. Oh, okay, it's people in chat. Well, that's impressive. That's certainly very impressive stuff. That's that's quite impressive. You have you have a lot of fine experience here. I have to say I was particularly moved by the cover letter. Do people write cover letters anymore? Like maybe they do, but it's just like you email them in and then you have to fill out a 20-page survey only for it to tell you that it's like it's psychologically profiled you and decided that you're not right to be hired at this time. Our <laughs> Our retinal scan has determined you don't want to work here enough. Hit the bricks, kid. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Ooh. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. Uh, yeah, welcome everyone. New hires and all. Welcome to stream orientation, day one. Please look under your seats and find your, your new stream viewer packets. Where you get information about stream days off and our stream off policies. Uh, usual stream rules, stream etiquettes, and a list of emotes in there. Uh, oh, Powderfinger quit. All right, well, uh, doors that way, that way. Don't take any snacks on the way out because now that you've quit, that would be theft and we will press charges. We love doing that, by the way. There's a whole page about it in the manual. Healthcare, none. None of, none of it. Tell it. We don't do that here. We're gamers. What? I thought I had my asthmite. Oh wait, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't deliver out of. Ah, forgive me. I, if that's not the case, you will have to excuse me. It's like, oh, forgive me. I thought you were here to. It would be a shame to forget. Resolve my quest. Pebble wants me to go to jail. Yeah, okay. Hold on, my asthmite. I'm gonna forget about that though. Is it, did it finally give me a quest for that? Yeah. Okay. I thought I had my asthmites. I've beaten up ghosts, and I thought they dropped my asmite. Hmm. How many guilt shames do you passively drop in conversation if I ask for time off? Just follow me. It's a lot of like. I don't know. Ooh. Hmm. And then I just like I just make a lot of noises and then wait. Wait for people to give something up. You don't know where you're going. I know how to get to jail. It's just, it's really hard right now. You know, people are out and... Somewhere 
else in mind you'd rather go? Uh, no need of my guidance. Ooh. Lead the way. The arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, there's um I might have I might have put it in storage. I just need to remember to check when I get back out. As long as I have it in my quest log. Hurt! That's right. I can't jump up here because I'm fat. Come to think of it. The pain I experienced at the coronation was beyond imagining. What baleful art could grant one other than the Arisen? We cannot accompany you there, Master. But fear not. You'll find us here when you return. I keep forgetting that this door is unlocked. But I probably need to be able to bust people out of jail. Probably need a jail key for that. Here we go. Oh, looking for the Jade Eye Orb, are you? Can't say I've seen it, or heard of it for that matter. Mind refreshing my memory? I have to bribe a dude in prison? What's he gonna do with this? All right, it's fine. All coming back to me now, uh, which is to say, I've not a clue. But I can tell you what I'd do if I nicked a treasure like that. My first stop would be Ibrahim's scrap store. Got to be sure my price is the genuine article, eh? Oh. The stores are in the checkpoint rest town. Might be worth a look, see? I came all the way here just for him to tell me to go all the way back. Whatever. Whatever. At least I got to go talk to Sven. God damn it. Ooh! Does he not care? I don't understand what aggro's the guards. Whatever, who cares? God damn it. Yeah, I can take the ox back. I don't regret it. I should very much like to rejoin you, master. Also, I can uh, do this Miasmite quest. Yeah, some of the stutters, even frame gen, can't really polish over, which I wouldn't expect it to, but it can it can get you from like... from like 90 to 100, 110 FPS, which is kind of nice. There's, a, there's a, another slather of butter on top of it, which is nice. All right. My, 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 me as my. There we go. Yeah. How much makeup to cover the C-section scars? Oh, like you're talking about my, my heart C-section. Vin's trademark scar. Yeah, C-section scars are hot. Tells a story. A stout woman that can hold a conversation. Just thinking about it. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my rounds directly. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Mayhap. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Can you give me a church tour? Care to accompany me? 
As sure. servants of the gracious hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. I saw a C-section for clinicals and that shit is barbaric. So much cutting, pulling, and tugging. Yeah, yanking. Yet, at times... Human beings are meat machines. And you... Yeah, the... The surgeries where you're just like elbow grease. Hammering and chiseling and prying. Oh. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums. And now... Even their poor son, Lubomir, has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. I thought you might like this, so I picked it up. Here you go. It seems Lady Eleanor means to give us a tour of the Gracious Hand. Might we not take- Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him. But he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. Oh, Peek, you've been playing for almost five hours. Still haven't finished the first main quest. What have you done to me? You've taken your first step into a larger world. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. Come. Oops. Come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now. <coughs> thanks to a kind donation. Psst. You there. Help me. Oh, God. <laughs> it's about to twist. Action man, thanks for the sub. Calder is such a badass. Oh, geez. I want to agree with you, but unfortunately, I've only seen The Last Witch Hunter once and was not able to pay the amount of attention I wanted. But I, I believe you. Calder is probably a badass. He are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. I like how this one lady is just like, she's just smiling. He told me he was feeling better. That he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah. Something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the gracious hand? Come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. Hmm. Hmm. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What? Do not approach me. Wow. She's not nearly as friendly as she looked. Got something for me? This is a place of prayer. Do keep your voice low. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Each of our patients deserves our full attention. Would that we had more hands to aid us. There's something suspicious out here. Is there a way to recruit two others as main pawns? No. No, you just have your, uh... Your main pawn levels with you, and then you just got to keep hiring two more. Oh, yeah. The spooky door. I guess I could try this during the daytime. Maybe follow Elena and see if she comes down here. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I fear I must attend to my prayers. Hmm. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? Oh. He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement. 
Should his condition fail to improve. The basement? That is, the basement sick room. Hmm. Where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abessa's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is, she gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. My wife almost became depressed for a while doing clinicals in a nursing home. Yeah. I I I don't know that I could do that. I don't know that I could develop the the like maintenance strategies to be in medical care. It feels like it would just weigh me down after a while. I got I got weighed down by jobs where I didn't have to deal with that heavy stuff all day. And yet I mean, some heavy stuff. But. A part of me is afeard for them. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Calm down. I do hope not befalls you, Amir. I should like to see him walk out of here in good health. Oh, I just got to tell him about the basement. Does Sir Lubomir know of this basement sick room, I wonder? Mayhap we ought to ask him about it. Okay. I take it you've some business with this person. Then pray. Follow me. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. And none say the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need. If it exists to be found. Mm. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any misdeeds. She's as you say. Wonder if this door is open now? Or maybe items are gettable that weren't gettable before? We're here. Ah. None the worse for wear. That's... Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. About just quests progressing to a certain trigger and then that magically unlocking doors. I mean, they did tell you that that was the logic. That, like, sometimes doors will just be locked. It's a pretty video gamey thing, though. Alright, what's going on down here? Hmm? I know not why, but the words basement sick room set my hair on end. <laughs> Shall we investigate? Medicine? Medicine! 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 Now! 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 All right. She wants her medicine. Someone help me. Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? Which game do you believe will be the next quadruple A title? Oh. Sega's working on it, right? They're still working on their mega game? found some evidence, but there might be more to discover. Let us scour every inch of this room. Oh, 
Among those marked as discharged, you espy the names Jahan and Bruno. Well, those were the names that this other dude was saying. I concur. Got to go talk to a We've arrived. Delivery in hand. Learned doctor. I hope the recipient is pleased with our work. Delivery? Indeed. You are correct. I need it. I need it. I need more medicine. Holbein Hans. Uh, no, oh, this game is pretty light on its background music. It kicks up when you're in combat. And then at certain points in exploration, but yeah, if you're just kind of moseying around, not doing too much exciting, there's not a whole lot of music. Here we are. You want me to talk to him again? You're back. Pray, tell me, have you found anything? What? You found a medicine used only in the basement sick room. What? I... I don't like the sound of that. What? Do you think... Could I trouble you to look into this as well? Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He's staying in the rest town. Pray, sir, do what you can. I must know. You're back. Pray, tell me, have you found anything? These look like records of treatment. Johan and Bruno. I know these two. They left here not long ago, fit as a pair of fiddles. I recall them being especially meek to the abbess. Mayhap that's what got them out safely. At any rate, they may know aught of use. Loathe as I am to ask more of you. Perhaps you would speak to them in my stead? Well, I got some leads. Okay, they're hanging out at the tavern. And then, yeah, the other, the rest town is further away. Oh, yeah, wow. I've run so far away from anything in Dragon's Dogma 2 now that I genuinely don't know how I'm going to get back. And of course, I didn't bring a fairy stone. Ugh. Yeah, there's really no way out of that, right? The individuals to whom these records of treatment belong and question them about Lady Elena. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. Maybe you'll find a random ox cart. Lead on. Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. Elena. Ah, yes. The abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself, but I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. And once I saw her, the abbess, Meeting with a strange man, she handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up. And he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. Mm. They were whispering, but I did hear- Keepsis has redeemed a gamer stretch. Good times. Well, suspicious, eh? Yeah, I can feel my, my back muscles are a little achy after my workout yesterday. Let's do some back stretching. Actually, I'm going to do some resistance band stuff and then a chair, a chair stretch over here.
There we go. I talked to Mildred. I don't recall a Mildred. She's in Vernworth? Sounds familiar? Where'd they meet? It was in the square in the eastern part of the common quarter. And always a night, as I recall. The square in the eastern part of the common quarter. At night? Okay. I suppose we might as well take this. Tis something I found. I wanted- Lady Eleanor's a goodly person. A saint-like. Her earnest care saw me back to full health. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Suppose tis only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. Uh, CD Media, I don't think campsites have limited usages. I don't think they do. I swear, in the early game, I thought I lost one after a certain number of uses, but I think I was just confused or moved it to somebody else's inventory. So yeah, I think, I think as long as you've got one or your pawn has one, you can camp however many times you want. Ink. We'll see. I mean, I, since playing this character, I've had, as far as I can tell, the same, the same kit the whole time. I swapped it out for one that was a little bit lighter. Hell yeah, brother. Zenti, thanks for the sub. On that note, this is this is what your sub money is going towards. A variety box of pure protein bars. Because we need that we need that calorie for protein ratio. <sighs> Gotta get those Jake Gyllenhaal Roadhouse shoulders. Just big ass fucking Samus Aran shoulder orbs. Who's this? Who's this fellow? Yeah, I got the protein water. I got it's caffeinated protein water. Yeah, Alana actually recommended it. I didn't know they were caffeinated. That's like a one-two punch when it comes to suppressing appetite. Barbells are delicious. I need to order some barbells off of Amazon so I can eat them. What's for dinner? Barbells. So I have to check out, okay. Oh yeah, the drug square. Last time someone offered me protein water, I ended up crying in the shower. <laughs> I think I get it, but also it's funnier to just imagine some disconnected series of events. Over here, if you would. Here. Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. Phasus? <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. It is simple for me to extract what I require. What is she extracting? Hey, DJ Kento, how's my weekend? Oh, it's been ideal so far. <sighs> Just kind of woke up naturally. Uh, ordered a ordered a baguette sandwich and a coffee. I need to do cleaning. That's the one thing that's kind of looming over the weekend, but. Um, it's a blessed, it's a blessed sponsored stream, so it's uh, it's fully vindicated that I'm gaming on just gaming all day. <laughs> the dishes can do themselves. Yeah, the weather is beautiful. I just opened some windows because it's a little, a little breezy today, but it's nice to get a nice clean breeze rolling through. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I ne'er end up in your care. <laughs> Enough. I gave you yours. Yeah, perfect gamer weather. I mean, it, it would... Yeah, it's, it's like the sun is shining and it's like a perfect 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect to stay inside, open the window and game. Ah, of course. 
Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. After you clean, pour yourself a nice drink, grab the vape, and enjoy three body problem. What is that? Netflix. Interesting. Okay. I'm down. Sci-fi series from Chinese author and Game of Thrones guy. Huh. Okay. Cool. I be seeing you. I'm down. Phasus. It is a name of great import. Of that I am certain. I know not what to make of this. Can I follow the drug man? Please, sir. I'm going to follow him and see where he goes. Even though Miles seems to have an idea. I mean, I don't know if they're just going to tell me to go to the border town. Now there's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. I wonder if I can just talk to him. Stay away from me. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. After you, Arisen. Well met, son. How might I be of service? Might we consider boarding an ox cart? I don't know about you, but my legs are stiff as balls. A most hmm. agreeable suggestion. I don't think he's going anywhere. Arisen shall have the final say in the matter. Is arisen the same as tarnished to Elden Ring? Functionally speaking, yes. It's uh it's just a kind of genderless term for the player character. In terms of story function though, I can't I can't say for sure. I don't know what does tarnished mean in context in Elden Ring? Yeah, I think he's just walking around. Well, this simplifies matters. We've already got I don't think I understood the uh, the like the story and world of Elden Ring enough to know what being a tarnished means. Whereas I have a good idea of what it means to be an arisen. Yeah, he just turned around again. Okay, so that makes me wonder where Miles. Where are you taking me? Where are we going? Because if you're just going to run me out of town, then I know that you're just running to the border town. Follow along at your own pace, Master. I shan't leave you behind. Yeah. Okay. Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. Is there anything else I need to do while I'm here? Jadeite Orb is back in the border town. Oh yeah, I have to find somebody of a uh, batalish origin. I'm not maidenless. Okay? I'm just waiting for the bus. When does my walk? A fair distance divides us from our destination. Mayhap a fairy stone would serve us better than our feet. True enough. Mayhap. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. God. One of these days I'll be brave enough to take one of these. Unbroken. The true gamer challenge. Can you sit through an entire ox cart ride? Where's your maidens at then? They're just busy. Okay. Busy earning another doctorate. Good feeling about this one. Busy learning how to do sex two. Sequel to sex. Mm. 
I'm done. I'm done. Vin's gotta fly. Damn it. I'm not taking any passengers. All right, I gotta go buy the damn thing. Just buy it, buy it with money. That was the original plan, but okay, we're back. Guess I'll, I'll talk to the doctor first. Aye, in need of a doctor, are you? What's this you're giving me? Oh, I see. Oh. You want me to run some sort of test on this? Determine what manner of substance it is? Interesting. Well, you've certainly piqued my curiosity. Whatever your reasons, I'll take a look. Naturally, I'll need a bit of time with it. Come back again in... Oh, I don't know. Later. You have huh. gathered materials. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. Sam is so cheerful. Uh oh <laughs> I guess that's a benefit to uh to run all around whenever you get to a new area is it just puts labels on everything makes it easier to find stuff later welcome sir if you think me a liar then buy something and see the car ah, I see you desire one of my master pieces there you just gotta buy it Wait, it's not... Oh, there it is. Be well. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. Why does that say fairy stone? A finely crafted counterfeit. Though similar to the genuine article, it does not share its function. And it doesn't have the same number of spirals on the on the like key art either. It's like missing a tendril. What does that mean? It doesn't share its function. What does it do? Hold on. I think I'm, yeah. Oh no, I guess this has the normal spiral. Or a, a kind of like unfinished spiral. Maybe it does it teleport you like somewhere random? Now I want to buy one and try it. Shit. If you think me a liar, then Hold on, how much do I need? Uh eight? Sheesh. Okay. Damn, that sells for a lot. Wow. to see you again and I need I need pebble to get over here so I can sell his stuff and buy this ghetto fairy stone Think me a liar then buy st I guess he doesn't have that much to sell oh he's got one of these I need to take it and eat it Something and see many thanks to you. Welcome if you <laughs> me a liar, then buy it me a liar. Yeah, I've gotta mortgage my house so that I can buy a imitation fairy stone. Perfectly normal behaviors. Oh, okay. 
truth for you. Hope to see you again. Okay, let's uh get out in the open here. Get some elbow room. Here we go. Wait, hold on. Oh, it says deliver the jade orb. Didn't I? Didn't I just ask for it to be duplicated? I don't still have it, do I? No. All right. I guess I just updated the quest. All right. Here we go. Fairy stone. Yeah. Wow. Wow. God damn it. <laughs> it just it's just a rock. It's just a rock. It just falls on the ground. Well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The ox cart made it without too much time. Uh, 8,000 gold. The worst ways to travel, I suppose. Uh, whatever. 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 I got, uh, it lightened up my inventory. How about that? Welcome, sir. If you've a change after all. Oh my God. It is folly to linger on a single vocation when there are the safer the roads, the heavier my- Yeah, that was good. That was perfect. Couldn't have asked for more. I don't think I've got anything else. Yeah. Always a pleasure. Well, shucks. What do I have to work on now? Let's see. I got to pass some time for the duplicate and then also for the medicine. Maybe somebody in the party knows about this. Any of my pawns know anything? Do we know where to find somebody of Batalish origin? I was a Kojima level scam. What am I supposed to do? It's this way. I guess there's also the uh be yours befallen the cenotaph. If I cannot dissuade you from There's these ten there's these uh houses up here I don't think I've gone into. You got Lord Far Farquaad in your party as a sorcerer? That's a good that's a good class for Lord Farquaad. I don't look like a gimp. I look like Calder. To talk to. The world famous Vin Diesel character from Last Witch Hunter. Away with you. <laughs> you have a level 30 Kratos. Kratos does pop up a lot. I guess he's pretty easy to make in most character creators. He has such like distinguishing video game features. Huh. I do not wish to scare you, my dear, but in all that ruckus a few days prior, the serpentine monster escaped. All I've heard is that it seemed to be headed for the mountains to the southwest. I worry for you so. Pray, take care. Well, that's an adventure. The mountains to the southwest? Hmm. First pun I saw in the selector was one called John Kratos. <laughs> so good. Mm. What? Somebody was in the way of the door, so we couldn't get out. Be gone! I have no hospitality to extend toward one bereft of decorum. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. Looking to gain entry to Merdin's Manor, are you? <laughs> Good luck. First, he'll sweep you a look from head to toe. Then he'll ask... ...that how you present yourself when visiting someone, and slam the door in your face. That pawns. 
You'd think he'd know not to expect noble manners from us common folk. Yeah, there's some music here. This is this is like sort of the exploring adventure music you can kind of expect. Ah, a material. Useful things, these. Material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. He's right. So, I guess I can just try to find this serpentine monster to the southwest. Hmm. Yeah. I'll just go explore for a bit. Welcome, if you think me a liar, then buy something and so creation of a masterpiece oh. takes time. Hope to see you again. Someone's gonna find Boulder in the pawn menu and go, what an original character. Now they'll find Pebble. A treasure chest. Oh. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Man, having a bigger health pool means it takes it takes actually a long time to heal. Is this the right way? Okay. I get a little turned around. Sometimes I feel like I need a fixed minimap. A merchant, eh? Have you an entry permit? Hold a moment. That cart has priority. Oh, I remember that cart. Lord Phasus is come! Open the gates! can be a cat person. So, you seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll Jesus. have to check your permit. Go on through. Meow. I've no time for idle ch Alright. A little something, won't you? Yeah, I agree, Mike Dub. The cutscenes look great. I mean, it takes two to make a sale, and this seller had nothing to tempt us with. Our funds are better spent elsewhere. The engine behind this game is so robust. Resident Evil cutscenes looked so so good. then. Ready for more colors? Yeah, I haven't actually fully made it to Batal ever, so I'm excited to see what it's like. I'm starving, I am. Food? Have you any food? Then, always a friend of the children. Many Have thanks. this raw fish, child. I'm still very hungry. Handed to you by a so man in a leather diaper. Any more food to spare? Nah, that's okay. One fish is enough for you. might be so bold as to speak my mind different masters favor different pawns one whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies I'll be sure to keep that in mind Bembley 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 Ooh. Oh shit. Oh shit. So, 
After breaking free of the chains of slavery that once bound you to this land, you return of your own volition. This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your pawn to visit the Rockmaster's borough in Bakbatal. Methinks it is where you will find that which you see. Mm hmm Whoa. Whoa. We are none of us alike in vocation. Leave the finding of yeah. equipment enhancing materials to me, Master. <laughs> I should sniff them out and mark them on your map. That's quite a sales pitch. You know what? Time to swap out miles. Uh, here you can take a nice, nice potato. It was a fine for these trying times. Shared. Wherever your travels take you, I pray you go in health. I like how Pebbles sitting there pouting. Delighted to meet you, especially if we share a sweet tooth. Damn. Damn. <sighs> I wonder where it's going. of treasures will I find today? I can scarce wait to find out. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know. It's pretty it's pretty sick nasty that this is what games can be now. Pretty sick nasty. I know no one likes games that are 70 bucks, but holy moly. I mean if you think about it, there was a clip that ran in MediaTek earlier about George Wood talking about Shadows of the Empire being $70, but that was three million years ago. And in terms of the scope, the amount, the refinement, the resolution of the asset, like everything, it's just orders of magnitude more. And somehow it's the same price. I talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your equipment. I can even mark them on your map. I like your beard. Oh, an even higher level. No, it's fine. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Oh, I got a fine rubberant just off of an enemy. That's not bad. Just a regular or like a pretty high level healing, healing item. This looks awesome, man. As a different biome. So let's see here. I needed to. Oh, mountains to the southwest. I wonder if it's on the other side. Do I need to like go around that way? Yeah, maybe. Consider me your bulwark. <laughs> With this, my magic are yours to wield. Whoop. Douse the flames before it is too late. Ah, uh, but yes, Peek, you bring up an excellent point. It doesn't even have to be 70. Whoa! It doesn't even have to be $70 US. Thanks to Green Man Gaming. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Ooh! It was currently offering 14% off.
Oh yeah, Tidal Fury. I gotta have that. Oh damn. Yeah, I guess it could just take off. Will serve us well. Be sure to aim true. What the? Probably won't be an issue. Keep overshooting. Doing the heavy attack gives you like an, an extra little lift. Ooh. Isn't that move like... Final Fantasy, there's a there's a limit break for Cloud that's kind of like that. He like stabs it in and then rakes it up real hard. Well, I can keep exploring mountains, but I don't think this is maybe what was hinted at in the message. Also, technically, I am just passing time until the quests proceed. But I guess I can if I just work my way down the road. Night will be upon us soon. I might find a new area or something. Not full prey to enemy ambush. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the promo peek. Yes, Green Man Gaming, a friend to gamers. Lay down strike with Miles Fury. Fear not, you're safe with me. What the? Helpful magics you got to warn off. Poor guy. What a battle! I'm hosting an edging party. You guys can't come. T. <laughs> nice one. I'll get that for you. Just random thieves running around. Everyone has their own reasons for doing battle, but knowing that doesn't make it any easier to join the fray. I knew it to be so. Have you played drinking games where you have the green man? You have to take off your beer before you drink and replace him. I'm not familiar with that. I do have a beer in the fridge, though. I might crack into it. Actually, yeah, there's a place around the corner that has Sapporo. That's both a really good and really bad thing, because now I know where to get Sapporo. All for swapping stories, but perhaps another night. Sizzler. Ugh. I quite agree. Best we recuperate our strength before we set off again. Found a new recipe. 
That food has no reason to look that good. It's awesome though, isn't it? They made a choice, and that choice was... We need food to look as amazing as it possibly can. Oh, that is, that is another way in which this game is very uh, doink positive. I think any game that has pornographic food is autumn like already goes way up on the weed scale. Yeah, Capcom loves food in video games. God bless, I say. It's not quite like it used to be in like Dragon's Dogma where there'd just be like ham shanks on the ground. That's very like classic Capcom. Better days. The roads are hardly safe. One cannot be too careful. It's still great, though. I love that the spirit is there. Yeah, Monster Hunter food looks incredible. There needs to be more more f food and gaming. I actually really appreciated what what a uh, what cyber food there was in Starfield. It gave it a, a, a some much needed notes of like whimsy and culture. Chunks. Yeah, Yakuza is really good with it. I wish Yakuza would go harder on it, to be honest. On um, in the ones that I played, it's just like you get a little photo, which is cool because it's like a unique photo for everything. Um. Statues inspire such. I'm sure I'm very sorry. I've a request, if you have a mind to hear it. Oh, where do you need to go, Frey? I have a cause to venture to a location far removed from where I am currently stationed, and would like for you to accompany me on my journey thither. May happy will think this an unseemly request for a soldier, but I can assure you that of late even one trained and armed as I has ought to fear when traveling the roads alone. I pray you will assist me. Ah, tis you. Thought I recognized you. I have watched Roadhouse. My thanks. It was awesome. It also seems like they had to ADR all of uh, Conor McGregor's dialogue. I don't know. I could make that shot. Yeah, it was fucking sweet. Some of the CGI fight stuff kind of reminded me of like Fight Night on the Xbox Xbox 360, but it was still cool. Like I was like, whatever, man. This movie has the right spirit. It's really fun. So there's no reason to like that doesn't even really register because everything else is is really good. But yeah, good shit. Jake Gyllenhaal is a really, really fun lead. And good God, is he fucking... He the oh, God. Absolutely phenomenal levels of density. Completely bricked up. <laughs> I'm all, I'm all greased up. I don't think it's gonna hit anything. Yeah, it was pretty cool when Patrick Swayze's ghost showed up, and like teamed up with Jake Gyllenhaal to do one last ultimate beatdown. And then the like... The band in the bar started playing I Had the Time of My Life, like a really souped up... Oh, I'm on the wrong... I'm on the wrong road. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Actually, the mu... I, okay, so unironically, the music was actually really, really good in it too. I have to admit, some great like some great musical stings that that really brought the mood of the mo movie around. That's not real. <laughs> no, I made that up. Yeah, they re yeah when they when they did that pottery thing together, that was awesome. Something written here. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. Jake Gyllenhaal and Patrick Swayze's ghost. Turning pottery. Whoa. There was a burst of wind right then. What are you trying to tell me, Patrick? Don't worry. 
Your legacy is intact. Ooh, a bandit hideout lies ahead. That doesn't really have anything to do with me, though. What's that? Oh, hi. I had a feeling that rest would do us good. Try not to get heat. Chopping me up too much. Yeah, I think the barge is really what does more to destabilize. Oh, take an essence flask. That's not a bad idea. I need to remember to use those. That was like half a life a life bar. I'm gonna use this ability if I can. forgetting to use my counter. Oh, he's down. All right. happens upon a material so rare i dare say the quandary of what to do with it is half the joy yeah powderfinger the fights in this game are so sick this and i'm playing specifically like a ultra heavy hitter class so i just do these like giant swings it's i haven't done a whole lot of uh encounters in this game as like a as a thief or anything like that but it's still fun oh yeah Ugh. Gafgarian, thanks for the sub. Street Fighter's sword Yukin is so nice when it hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially just all the hit feedback is so like so awesome. The the free the like video freeze, the vi like the shockwave ripple coming out of it that. Bong sound. Man. 
It kind of almost reminds me, the thud of when you destabilize an enemy kind of reminds me of how a limit break Five sounds. Weeks. In Final Fantasy XIV, many thanks for heeding my request. I might not have made it to my destination unscathed if not for your aid. Tis clear that you are a dependable sort, and I shan't hesitate to call on you again should the need arise. I'll not let a good deed go unrewarded. Hey, Aussie Maniac. Hmm. 2,000 gold and a panacea, not bad. Well, I guess I can keep taking the main road down. Okay, sheesh, that's far. I haven't tried mage in this game yet. I played mage all pretty much all of Dragon's Dogma 1, so I was curious to branch out, but I'm I'm heartened by it seems like your um seems like your aptitude goes up way faster than your level kind of so it, it does seem like it's more tuned for you to to multi-class and jump around so i'm sure i'll get to fiddle around with uh with mage sooner or later all right well i guess i'll go back to the main road and keep heading south is that this direction hold on not really Oh, wait, what is over here? Is there anything over here? The guest temple? Ooh, I can't wait to find out what's inside. It's, uh, it's a spectral man. Woman. Can it be you are lost, Arisen One? The path to the dragon has many turns, but I can illuminate the way ahead if you so desire. Hmm. I know only that which is already clear, that the origins of this artifact can be traced to Batal. This meeting shall not be- Wait, what were you talking about? Does she give you specific advice about the quest that you have equipped at the time? Can it be you are lost? What? The path to the dragon has many turns. I know only that which is already mm. clear. You will find the path you ought to follow in Consider thy path with a cautious eye and an open mind, lest the light of revelation forsake thee. Would you know the fate of another? What the hell does that mean? This meeting shall... What? Also, why did I get trickster all of a sudden? I am curious to try out Trickster. A treasure chest. I can hardly wait to open it. Oh. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. Yeah, Bruce was telling me about Trickster. Sounds like an interesting experience. Ooh, a ladder. How big is my monitor? Huh. That's a good question. <laughs> uh like 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 that 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 big? <sighs> I don't know how I'd look that up. There's no part number on the front of my monitor. Let us see what your favor. Probably 27 inch. Y yeah, sure. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. What the? 
Are you back? Oh, that's a dragon. Oh. I don't know if I'm ready for dragon yet. Is the great sword wheeler a tough class to play? Not really, as long as you kind of do it the way that they guide you to. Which is to rely on the toughness buffs you get while charging. So you'd, you can't just mash buttons, I think, and be fine. You'll probably get knocked over a lot and miss a lot of swings. So it's kind of an intersection of those two things. Or it's the, the relying on charge moves. And then the other thing is having a more Monster Hunter sensibility about it. Like you have to attack where the enemy's going to be in a couple of seconds versus where they are now. Everyone has their own reasons for doing battle. But knowing that the not take you to join the fray. I knew it to be so. The creature's corpse will serve us well. Be sure to aim true. What's going on over here? I'll not stand for this. This is positively monstrous. I suppose I should thank you. This is for you. Now we're eating. Okay. Ooh, okay, it's back. Oh, it still hurt, too. Oh! Pebble caught me! Caught me gracefully! And put me down. Now that's what a real co-star does. Whoa. down. I'm so tired. Ooh. And I still can't figure out this counter.
Do I have to hit a follow-up button? Ow. Oh. Oh, that was it? Ca I thought that was my spell. I should use more of these. Yes. There we go. Okay. Landed the counter that time. Damn. It's a precious thing we found. Wind went bananas just then. Do take care not to throw it away by mistake. Cool. Yeah. Big fights are big fights are just fun to do on their own. I guess it it's probably good to get the uh the materials. I'm sure that'll be required for crafting. I'll wait yeah. make that shot. That stuff is ultra monster hunter, I have to admit. It is an awfully long shot. I do think it would look quite a bit different if I weren't playing Warrior. Because it, it, it is very Monster Hunter with the big swings. Oh. Seems we've enemies in our midst. Something like something like Thief would could ride around on it while it's flying around and stab it and shit. This just looks so cool. Water is seeping through here. I wonder what that means. It's time to chomp on a beetle, that's what it means. Ow. Which one's your pawn? Pebble. Uh oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. whoa, stop, stop. <laughs> I don't know what that did. Oh, it opened up a cave. What the fuck? What the? Oh, different lizards. This spell will empower you. Elemental magic. He shoved me.
Whoa! Yeah, I finally got poisoned. I was wondering when that was going to kick in. Okay, can you use this? No? Oh, it's different. Blighted is different than poison. If you're hit with additional blighting attacks while already blighted, you will suffer fulminant poison and take massive damage. What's more, the loss gauge will accumulate, sim accumulate significantly. Okay. I hope you like it. I found it myself. White milk can't jump. I agree this game looks cool because it is cool. The game adheres to the foundations of gaming. Dank caves. Treasures. Collectibles in caves behind waterfalls. Poison lizards, big swords, beefy boys that are always glistening with oil. <laughs> Wide open vistas. Seamless exploration of amazing fantasy worlds. All of this for 14% off on Green Man Gaming. Green Man Gaming also has a whole section for Xbox codes too. Which, now that I think about it, if you get a Play Anywhere Xbox code, that's a PC code too. Now that it, oh man, oh man. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to flex that. I might check the deals there a little bit more often. I was expecting to find a city or something down here. I guess I could drop a, uh, a waystone and then teleport back. Those, what are those? Figs. Huh. Oh. Let's just keep moving. I just killed a ton of those guys. There's like platforms and stuff here. Spam healing items to survive that. I thought that got rid of poison. No. Laugh at me! <laughs> it's fucking laughing. Now that's pretty peak video games too. Enemies that laugh at you after they've tackled you or grappled you or something. Oh no, General. Oh no. Just lost three hours of frog. Oh! God damn it. Just lost three hours of progress, thinking that load at last in save would count campfires and entering towns as well. Does it not keep your, your checkpoint, or does it reset your checkpoint as soon as you do load last in save? The way that Dragon's Dogma 1 worked is that uh, if you did that, you could still quit out to main menu without saving and load your checkpoint, and it would still be fine. But if you've run around a lot and hit another checkpoint, then maybe maybe you're fucked. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. I don't know, like, I feel like maybe there's- they should be more explicit about that, or offer an easier rollback. If you pick that menu option. Just, like, put a little bookmark. 
and be like, okay, just in case. Someone saw fit to camp here. I don't mind how long we stay, so long as I get the chance to catch my breath. Dang it, I keep getting fucking... Or is it the same poison? I guess I'm still carrying the same poison that I haven't gotten rid of. I guess it maybe just hits me every so often. Good feeling about this one. Yeah, putting a timestamp on it would help a lot. Big fan of putting timestamps on on loads. <laughs> but wow, there's a lot of empty roads out here. I guess maybe if I went to a campsite, the nearest one's pretty far away. Well, I can always fairy stone back. I think I'll just do that. With an actual fairy stone. I didn't touch the port crystal. Or I don't know if there is a port crystal in the uh, checkpoint town. Right. Where do I need to go? I guess there's, yeah, there's the duplicate for the Jadeite Orb. And then there's this thing, which I really don't know anything about. Oh yeah, and then there's the Doctor. So I can Fairy Stone back to Vernsworth, take the Ox Cart. Vernsworth, whatever. Vernworth. Here we go. I'll never not think about that fucking well imitation crystal that just boinks on the ground. Yeah, like I'm all poisoned up. I'm all slicked up with purple poison. I wonder if I can sleep it off. I gotta get to my bed pronto. I gotta shit. I gotta shit. There are worse things than turning... Hey, Kenny. I Amen. Fortune shall favor us this Boobs. Day. Off we go then. When did I pick up all this stuff? I'm withdrawing. That's why. God damn it. That sucks. That sucks. Never a good feeling to lose progress of any kind. Liberated lyrics. Has the PC heard the PC port's been crashing a lot? I don't think it's been crashing at all. I think, man, I think the game of telephone has turned drop some frames in one part of the game into it runs bad, into it crashes all the time. I, I saw YouTube comments talking about, like, well, the game shouldn't crash on the title screen. And I'm like, it doesn't. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some people are having, uh, Stability problems, but I haven't seen any, like, any actual 
stuff about that. Just like people getting in a circle and getting mad. Hey. I should carry a bee steak just in case we go camping. Saw one crash in 18 hours of gameplay from somebody else's stream. Yeah, I mean, it's it hasn't been... Uh, it hasn't been flawless. The game, like, froze up on me for a couple of seconds once. And then I think it crashed one other time. But I've played for about 40 hours now, I want to say. I'd say that's, that's pretty perfectly in bounds for a modern game. Especially one that's, like, as pretty, pretty demanding as this one. Right. I slept off the poison. Now, ox cart back. Critical put out a vid showing his game crashing almost non-stop. I don't know what's I don't know what's fucked about his computer then. <laughs> I don't know. It works on my machine, but that doesn't doesn't help him. I don't know. I would be wary of that stuff. Not to impugn Critical's uh, YouTube integrity, but the trend on YouTube certainly has nothing to do with with being accurate. And much more about if there's a dogpile target than dogpile. That's where all the views are. So that's the trend. It was a fascinating <sighs> tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Re Have you come to be curious? While it is admirable to devote yourself to this, particularly if you are eligible for a special vocation, heretofore unseen opportunities of exciting potential. Should I? Okay, should I try Trickster? Ooh. Only the Arisen can excel at this vocation, wielding phantasms to confuse foes. They call forth obstacles and illusions to sow chaos on the battlefield. It seems like it's going to take a bit of, uh, a bit of, uh, patience, maybe? Tricksters wield peculiar smoke-dispensing implements known as sensors to conjure an array of illusions. Though they have a few means of harming their enemies directly, tricksters excel in the art of deceit and possess magics fit to befuddle foes and trick them into delivering their own ends. Only the Arisen can acquire this vocation. Tricksters use the X to swing the sensor and diffuse its smoke. However, unlike other vocations, this action deals hardly any damage. Its true purpose is to draw attention to the wielder. Use the sensor to beguile your foes, and you shall soon have them dancing in the palm of your hand. Press Y to conjure a Simac simulacrum an illusory figure that is identical to the caster and can be used to confuse your foes use right bumper to summon the simulacrum simulacrum to your side has limited health and will weaken ultimately dissipate when struck will also dissipate if the caster incurs damage or strays too far away after conjuring a simulacrum hold down right bumper and hit y to cast enthralling aroma and possess an enemy other foes will confuse the possessed victim for the caster and attack the wily trickster knows how to turn enmity to their advantage and need not feel outnumbered even when facing down multiple foes. Thoughts on Final Fantasy Rebirth? I really like it so far. I'm not that far, though. Uh, no, I'm playing with an Xbox controller. Tricksters cannot deal damage to their foes directly. Equipping a sensor still serves to augment their prowess in battle by boosting their strength and magic strength. Oh. Strength affects the trickster's ability to draw the attention of foes, while magic increases the health of the conjured sim simulacrum. Okay. Cool. I like that my titty is out. Big fan of that. This has been cast. Attracting the attention of targets the smoke touches. Have you found any of the items we discussed perchance? Always a pleasure. A fine vocation, and one no doubt chosen for better unison among our party. We shall meet our foes with renewed vigor. Hmm. Oh, there are caverns you can use to get through the border. That's cool. All right, I should probably check 
equipment. See if I can buy any better, like a better sensor, I guess. Wait, my I just I have bare feet. Look, master, a treasure chest. First time I've seen the bottom of Vin's feet. Are you in the market for something in particular? No, oh, nothing. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I have to go to that more exotic shop in the border town to find gear for this class. I can probably find um, what you need. armor, though. Not really. Hmm. Pants. <laughs> Yeah, pants. I guess I can. Well, I have pants. I hope to see you again. When did you switch to Trickster? Like 30 seconds ago. All right. Well, I'll go root my root around in my storage. Pray, slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. <laughs> no time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Where the fuck am I? Pants, magic pants. What a concept, huh? Pants? might be some slow going <laughs> until I get up to speed on Trickster. <sighs> Jadeite Orb, yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, to the ox cart. Unless there's unless there's like another oh, <laughs> this veil. <laughs> unless maybe there's another quest. Hello. Not much going on here about. There's not. is a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? Perhaps new discoveries await us above. What? Yeah. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Trying to intimidate them. I can't remember what they... Yeah. I should look at um, item shops more, I think. Yeah, 10K, yeah. yeah. Many thanks. Maybe I, wait, I should have dropped my port crystal out there. Ah, well, ah, well, ah, well. Nope, wrong way. Wonder how well the trickster does against bosses. Yeah, yes, because that you're, seems like you're largely reliant on AI. And I guess they, they do damage if I can buff them enough. I guess if you can trick somebody into instant death, that'd be the way to do it. Um, if you can, like, make somebody walk off a cliff. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. That's cool. I didn't have to wait. You, I always wondered if it would be possible to just show up when the cart's there and ready to go. I've just remembered. There was another matter we were to attend to here about. Was there not? We'll make our way there in time. As to whether it will be sooner or later, that is for the Arisen to decide. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? With my with my newfound knowledge of how to operate timers and my bot program, I think I can make it. I can make a media tech timer that 
genuinely runs on on like stream contributions. Like the reason I've never done that before is because uh, I still have I would still have to be there to hit the button. There are timers and stuff that operate like that. But now I can I can build it. Alright. Imitation Jadeite. Hope to see you again. Now let's see here. This is a forgery, is it not? A copy, in other words, with no inherent value. What do we hope to do with it? Yeah, I can basically do a subathon media tech or even just a subathon normal stream. Because with my streamer bot, I can just tie the logic directly to shutting the stream off since it can do that through OBS. Speaking of shutting something off directly, I got to use the rest restroom. Yokimari, hello. Hello and welcome. Uh, I'll be right back, folks. See you real soon. Actually, I'm going to use the restroom and also I'm going to walk around the corner and get myself a nice cold Sapporo to enjoy with this wonderful stream. So I'll be back soon. Cracking a cold one. See y'all. All right, folks. Remember when I was like, there's no, there's no performance issue. Look at this. Look at this. Crash report tool. It crashed while I was on the pause screen. Cool. Tag yourself. I'm TJ Racer. Oh, Bobby Rock looks tough. Jim Gillette. Dude, look at that quad tar. The crosser, crosser tar. <laughs> That's so sick, though. Michael Angelo. Yeah. Got a sneak peek of next season's uh, Overwatch 2 skins. <clears throat> anyway, beer acquired. The only beer that from uh, Glorious Nihon. Oh, oh. <laughs> it slipped out of my hand. Glorious Nihon. Um... Jesus. Each sud has been folded 5,000 times. Oh, please don't spray. Oh. Damn it. That's the second time I've spilled this beer on my floor. Ugh. <laughs> I got it, though. Hold on, I'll be right back. We're all set. Sapporo is so good. Yeah, you can go to the distillery in Sapporo and have it there. Oh, man. I like that the title screen changes once you make it to Batal. It is kind of bitter. I was just thinking about that. But it does have a nice bready taste. I like bready beers. I guess like ales. I'm not so much into the sour or the bitter, which is kind of tough because that's a lot of beer. There was another matter we were to attend to hereabouts, was there not? When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Yes, the wick has been trimmed. All right, yeah, I've got to deliver the orbs. I should deliver the fake one first. Yon ox cart has brought all my fatigue to the fore. Shall we climb aboard? I wouldn't mind a chance to... So, how goes it? Did you manage to retrieve the Jadeite Orb? Um. Uh, hmm. Very well. I only the only option is to give the genuine one. <clears throat> Maybe after you give the genuine one, the option appears to give the fake. There you are. Pray tell me, have you found the Jadeite Orb? Okay. Hmm. I don't remember. <sighs> Apart from the other guy just generally being more snooty. I don't really remember the connotations of, like, both of these characters in regards to who should get the orb. Does anyone remember? Like, what's the deal? Maybe I should just trust my gut. This guy's folksier. He's nicer. He's more- he just has a kinder face.
Yeah, a cat with a perm. How can you say no? Oops. Wait, what? Fine. Didn't I? Master Everard finds out what I. Oh, it crashed. Maybe I haven't picked him up yet. Whoops. I landed in the store. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy the item you requested. Okay. Hope to see you again. <clears throat> this is a forgery, is it not? A copy, in other words, with no inherent value. So, how goes it? Ah! Did you manage to retrieve the Jadeite Orb? Ah, splendid. You've my thanks. Before we discuss your reward, however, there is one final matter to which we must attend. Oh no, is he going to check it? You see, in my line of work, trust is paramount. And so we shall go to verify the orb's authenticity together. Come. Uh-oh. Ibrahim's eye, most of all. Let us pay a visit to his little scrap store. Going directly back to the person who just copied it. God damn it. This is not going to turn out well. Let's play it through. Maybe Ibrahim will be chill about this. Or I'll have to snap Sean Bean's neck. Good day, Ibrahim. Would you be so kind as to examine this Jadeite orb? <laughs> now, I have a bit of business to attend to while he performs his appraisal. I ask that you await my return here. They're going to let me talk to him? <laughs> I've seen better day. What is it? The appraisal's not yet done, and I must need to concentrate. Oh, you can bribe him? What's this for, then? That shan't get you anywhere, I'm afraid. Sir Everard's paid me quite a sum. To oh no, I gotta pay my way out of this. I'm telling you. <laughs> You're a persistent one, aren't you? Gold, all well and good, but I shan't risk my business for a full pocket. I've my future to think of. It's up to 6,000 now. Sorry. Every time... Every time the amount was going up and up and up. He ought to be finished by now. Oh no! Come, let us go see. What is the... Oh god, he got all my money! Oh. Have you the eyes of a drunken ogre? Or did you think to deceive me? Oh no. No matter. I see no reason to lend an ear to your excuses. You there, escort our guest to the jail, would you? I'll admit, I... <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. It's fine. Busted. <clears throat> back in Vernworth. Oh my god. They sent me all the way back, huh? Ugh. Yeah. I wasted all my money in bribes. Bro, bro. Does that end the quest, I wonder? I still have the orb. Oh, I didn't get all my stuff back this time. Uh, that's not good. Oh, there we go. Ugh. You would gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? Can you do it again? Like, I guess I could probably farm up... Farm up enough money and try again. Like, that's, that's kind of the perfect way to do shit like this. Is to, uh... Slap the player around a little bit, but give them the opportunity to do it again. 
This seems like a safe scum state. No, it's explicitly not. Because it didn't, it didn't fail the quest. It just took all my money. And then, and then put me in jail. Shall we see where it leads? Perhaps new discoveries await us about. Honestly, I think that's the perfect way to do it. Oh, shit! It's not like it's, uh, uh it's something you can't recover from, you know? It's a weird and dumb way to bribe someone, though. In real life, sure, but in a video game, it makes it like it's actually pretty awesome. Because the second time it pops up, you're like, oh, shit. How high is this going to go? How many times am I going to have to do this? So I think it's fun. I think it's fun. It does tempt- I guess it tempts you, the player, to just like, yeah, to just figure out what the amount is and then reload, but that's not fun. I don't know, that shit- that shit's extra cheeky when they play with player psychology like that. Love that stuff. Because I- I was already caught, like, trying to get away with something, you know? So then it's like, okay, now you have to pay to get out of it. You're already behind the eight ball. Mmm, man, that beer's good. Yeah, I love that kind of stuff too, how tough am I? <laughs> to me, that's kind of the core spirit of of Dragon's Dogma. It was a fascinating tale those soldiers outside the palace were discussing. It kind of acknowledges the player in a way that a lot of old retro games used to. Games nowadays are like weirdly austere. Kojima games are es like especially love playing with that that weird layer between the game and the player. There's obvious ways of, like, having a, a colonel tell you to, t to turn your game console off, but, like, reading the memory card, you know, getting you to turn the volume up and snatch her, then blowing it out with a loud, a loud sound. Damn, I can't, like, oh! Oh, shit. They blew up the cart. It blew up the cart. It blew up the It blew it up! Damn it! I was on a bus once when it had engine trouble. It kind of feels like that. We all had to get off and wait for the next bus. Okay, yeah, I still have the orb. Hmm. I guess I could make another copy. But I don't even know what the end game is. Getting away with giving it to both parties so you get both rewards, I suppose. Oh yeah, need to give a lantern oil. Uh, where am I? How far did I make it? Like half? Hmm, yeah. All right. Can I ride? All right. Away. You're going the wrong way though. Nope. No. 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 Mm. <laughs> Pointless. That's it. It's on fire, though. She said, huzzah. Well, I guess we're walking the rest of the way. Damn, man. I guess I could wait for morning. <clears throat> I am bringing, uh, I did bring meat. This actually can work out, because Pebble is a pretty good DPS. Um, has a bunch of, like, assassination moves and, and like, grab from behind type things. Ow. <laughs> yeah, it could have cost more after 6,000 as well. And even, even then, the way that the quest resolved of actually kind of letting... Potentially letting me try again. 
that's extra cheeky because it's like I have to buy the copy, I have to wait again, and then I have to try again with 6,000 more gold on top of what I already gave him. It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? What if, what if I do it again and I only have to do 6,000? Like it goes right to 6,000. Where, do, where does the game logic go? I have to know now. God damn it, I have to know. Now look at this. You know what? This is actually looking up. Because I'll have my big ass stat buffs. I need to get some... Oh, the sizzle. Dude, it's like partially cooking. Oh. Curious how a fine meal makes your eyelids heavy. But not your stomach. That is curious. Indeed. Surely we've time for a short kip ere we continue on our merry way. Okay. Yeah, meet FMVs for the win. Huh. That's odd. Oh, I guess it switches to a different map when I'm under here. Why is it revealed on the world map, but it's not revealed on the mini map? Mildly sad news. I wanted to go on a motorcycle ride today, but there's a drizzle all around LA. I'll try again tomorrow. There was this morning. Uh, it seems mostly cleared up at this point, but yeah. Yeah, riding, riding a motorcycle in the rain in LA is not great. I've, I've done it like twice and it was terrifying and I was very careful. I mean, the weather now actually seems really good for, for bike riding, at least where I am, but I'm in the South Bay area. It's windy as fuck. Yeah. That might be a little weird on a bike. If you're not super used to it, I wouldn't say I am. Just... You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. Yes, Vin is smoking us up now. Hmm. Since I'm not a warrior, I kind of want one in the party. I'm only glad to have proven my worth. It will be an honor to serve by your side. The more you ride in bad weather, the better you get at it. Yeah, I'm sure. It's not really a skill that needs refining in LA, though. Oh, who's this guy? My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. He's kind-hearted. That's fine, though. I've got a new pal already. I shall do as you say. I'll wager I could make that shot. Be sure to aim true. Yeah, basically, I'm just like, I twirl my, I twirl my dank weed, and then I run away. Dankify! Ow! Ooh! That's pretty awesome, though. Good job, Buster. That reminds me, now that I think on it. None in our party are healers. <laughs> we may only be able to carry so many curatives with us at a time, but they can serve just as well. Yeah, Pebble is going after it. Ah. Yeah, as soon as I distract them, Pebble like sneaks in there and splits 
slits all their throats. That's, uh, that's the unstoppable tag team duo of Vin Diesel and Dwayne The Rock Johnson in the box office to your wallet. Slipping in there, grabbing those credit cards, and squeezing them dry. Sounds big. This will be interesting. Let's try to kill it. I don't have like any abilities though. So I'm just gonna have to rely on my my mans. I don't know. I feel like I probably want more abilities before I bite off a fight like this. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Well, someone just did a lot of damage. Who cares? Who cares? I must level up my dankage. The intensity of my doinks. Oh. Or shouldn't have run directly into the, the pack. Oh, he followed us. Oh, hell. Oh, shit. Wow, okay. Well, goodbye, Eris. We lost one. I was thinking about breaking the bridge, but I was like, I can't lose Eris. And then it just snapped on its own. Yeah, what a sacrifice. Wow. <laughs> I think Eris's pawn quest was to defeat an ogre, too, so that's sad. Oh man, that was cool. Cool and tragic. God, we're almost there and we lost one. We lost one. This route has seen better days, but there's no sense in lamenting it. We'll no. <laughs> Ow. Weak to fire. Why does Vin look like a monk now? Because I'm a trickster. But I'm a level one trickster, so I'm not very good at it. Just swirl around my sensor and cast dank weed clouds. Five twenty. I mean, it's five fifty. That's kind of like a, a weed number, sort of. Sounds like weed. 550, bro. You know? Oh shit, we're all asleep. Ooh, there goes Buster. Bullying me. Oh, I forgot. I have one of those. Yeah. Marizard. Thanks for the sub. 48 months. That's four anniversaries. And I'm very grateful for that. Thank you for the support. Watch your footing, master. Losing your balance on an As usual, we out here gaming. Perilous. Hell yeah. Playing some Dragon's Dogma 2, sponsored by Green Man Gaming today. Vendors of fine PC codes and Xbox codes. They're uh, currently promoting a 14% off Dragon's Dogma 2 sale. Uh, that's on the regular and the deluxe editions. So check it out. Check it out if you're in the market. Also, I mean, they just sell tons of other PC games at discount. And Xbox codes, like I said. Actually, now that Xbox has Play Anywhere, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna keep a keen eye on, uh... 
keep a keen eye on the Green Man Gaming Store because some of those codes, it's like you get it for the version on Xbox and then you can also install it on PC. I'm super into that. I've got a good feeling about this one. Yeah, I remember this tower. See, I'll have to peek around it. You can get, like, I think you can get um, Xbox Live or uh, Game Pass codes. Wait, what are you shooting at? Oh! Oh, and I think I, I, I looked into Final Fantasy XIV on Xbox. I think you have to buy it. And then also, yeah, be an Xbox Game Pass subscriber. But they have a they have an Xbox version that's all the expansions for 60 bucks. So essentially it seems like since I'm already a Game Pass sub, I would just have to pay the $60 and then I can I can play 14 natively on an Xbox. But also I can stream my PC to the living room, so it's kind of like ah, it doesn't feel like it's I don't know if there's any features of the game for console and Xbox specifically that make it different than just playing on PC with a controller. Anyway, that was something else I was thinking about. It's like maybe Green Man Gaming has a, a discount on the 14 for Xbox pack. I'll have to check. It's so bizarre. How interesting. How would hotkeys and macros for 14 even work on a controller and a console? Shockingly well, uh, Icarus, but it's through al almost like surgical precision of controller applications, so it's actually pretty brilliant. Um, essentially, like, you have your movement on the right stick, your camera on the left, and then the face buttons and the D-pad become eight inputs um, for each of a series of templates, uh, there's like, there's, there's all of the, there's the eight inputs with, with no buttons held down. And then the right and left triggers become like shift buttons. So if you hold right trigger, then you have an entirely new set of eight inputs. Left trigger is a new set of eight. And then where it gets wacky is like, you can make it so both at the same time as a third or that left, then right becomes a fourth, right, then left becomes a sixth or fifth or whatever. So you actually can have access to like up to like 60 or 70 button prompts and you do actually gain the ability to have that muscle memory of like, where are my abilities? What combination of buttons gets to what? It takes a minute to develop, especially if you're used to PC. The only other sticky thing is targeting, but they actually figured that out pretty well too. Um, it's basically like you can move and then hit left and right on the D-pad to change your target while you're moving. I see you've been Try off as soon as you and then hit, it's like left and right change your enemy target and then up and down change your party target. And since all the target lists wrap around, you're never really more than like three or four button presses away from targeting the thing you want to target. So yeah, it seems super intimidating, but luckily, the, you know, when you start a game like that, you really only have one or two abilities. The destination we were bound for is not far from here. And they, they layer it on, or they layer on complexity. I was watching the Inside Games about Dogma 2, and I'm of two minds. You buy a single player game with microtransactions in it, it's your game and your money, and you can play the game how you like. This goes for mods and even microtransactions. At the same time, I hate the idea of them. I don't know. I hate the idea of them too. I think they're stupid. You don't have to like them. Um, the only thing I, like, my earnest request is that get mad about the practical reality of the game. And the idea is stupid. But when you launch Dragon's Dogma 2, there's zero mentions of DLC. There's no store in the game at all. And the game's design does not invite you to imagine this negative hole that money should be filling in any way. So it's such a non-issue. That's the distinction. But I, some people can't separate, like, principle from reality, it seems. Or they think that giving up an inch will lead to bad things down the road, but it's not there. Like, it's not there. 
And if you get mad about what might be, then you'll always be mad. And it turns out that is the case. So, eh. I don't know. Some people just mad. The thing that bugs me is that enough of this, like enough of this crying wolf and everybody will just start ignoring. And I think to some degree publishers already do. They're just like, ugh. Uh, yeah, too stoned to be mad. Amen, brother. Amen. Let me go back. Let me go back and talk to this dude. So the other guy's not here anymore, though. What's going on? Why is everybody mad? Oh, uh, am I like wanted here? Whoa, I didn't do anything. Why are they mad at me? Are they going to arrest me again? Oh shit, Pebbles over there murdering people. Oh! They put me in a different cell. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not in the one where I can punch through the wall anymore. Oh man. That's it. I should have known I'd not measure up. How are we the five? So yeah, I don't know. It's it's frustrating because theoretically these this is within the parameters that was agreed upon years ago, which is that like as long as it doesn't influence the game or you can play without it. I just have to give them all my money? Very well. Uh... <sighs> well, at least they put my clothes back on this time. And maybe the ox cart will make it all the way there? What the fuck, man? What if they're just a perma aggro to me there? Like a real Skyrim situation. I guess there's quests that I just won't be able to do or I have to sprint in and try to... Try to like resolve them before I get captured. Pebbles kills half the city guard. What am I doing? Oh, let me... I want to fix the mini-map. Wadi, thanks for the sub. Just beat Millennia for the first time, or for the first after grinding so much. I need to get in there and fight Millennia again. It'll be fun to fire up, uh, fire up Elden Ring again. Pray slow your feet! You run too fast for the likes of me! Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Oh, everyone's really hurt. Oh yeah, and I lost that pawn. <sighs> Why the fuck? I keep getting mega turned around. I'm in the- okay, I'm in the noble's estate. Alright. Okay. Pick up a new pawn. Can take us to new heights. Ah, excellent find. <sighs> yeah, maybe get a maybe get a healer. Uh, delusional haze. Game's running really well for me. Uh, I also put the I put the frame gen DLSS mod on. Ooh, Mega Man. So that's been that's helped. I can kind of tell. Uh, but my specs are on my you can count like on, me, on the about range. section. You need of an ear to listen. I have a I have a pretty mid range CPU. It's an i5 13th gen. And then I have a 4080 video card. So I do have a pretty beefy video card. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment. I won't. I'll just go sleep. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? 
I think. No, it's this way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm having a good time. The, uh... The perf I mean, I guess I, sh I should acknowledge that I'm on... I'm kind of like mid-high-end hardware. And PC is always going to be a little chunkier than console. But, um... I've had a really good time. It's run great. And looks so good. Just looks so, so good. I think. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. The vim. Feeling rested, I trust. I guess I'm a little concerned about this village. Hello. Uh, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll take the ox cart and we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe I'll get lucky. Oh, I can learn new skills. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, not here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to follow up with this guy. The, ugh, the storyteller guy. God damn. Now, what would you have me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. Really? That's it? Wow. Okay. I thought there'd be some follow up. There's definitely follow ups if you don't give it directly to him. I guess he just keeps living exactly the same way. <clears throat> I thought maybe he would. Uh. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be. Come to come to his senses or something. Are you seeing a lot of plain or badly made pawns in your game? Uh, no, no. Not just like it's not just like a nonstop parade of of weirdos, but yeah, it's been all right. There's been some fun ones. Mm. Ah, oh, wait. Health falls, allies' health falls steadily while active. Damn. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Makes targets focus on the simulacrum if they get hit with the thing. Okay. Under a cloud of smoke. Draw the attention. Okay. Seeing a lot of main pawns. Yeah, I did see some main pawns as well. Is that just people that refuse to put in a name or something? Seekers tokens are wake stones with sounds and blinking lights. Interesting. Glad to assist you. Do come again. What are main pawns? It's just a pawn with the name main pawn. Spelled out. Oh, was that the sound? Sounds like the sound. Ding, yeah. Well, it said a blinking light. What the hell, that could mean anything. Welcome. I'm gonna guess it's that exclamation point. Oh lord. See, something like this would be great to have with thief abilities, so you could, I could just like double jump up there. Maybe I should take it off until I have thief abilities like double jump. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna unequip that for now. I should be glad to assist. Do come again. Until I have the ability to flip all over the place and get exactly at where that ting ting is coming from, we're gonna we're gonna turn that off. Good to know it's there though. Very good to know it's there. Wrong one. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? This ox cart's bound for the- I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. I'm broke! I forgot about being broke. Oh, 
look while you're here, eh? Need anything? <sighs> yeah. All right. I'm walking around, money. Many thanks. Nothing caught your eye? That's a shame. Let's hope there's aught worth our coin next time. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Gotta sell my shit to get bus fare so that I can sit on the uncovered ox cart in the rain. Hello, Paul Trujillo. Please let me get there, please. Son of a bitch! Okay, maybe I can I can be smart about this though. Here. I put down my effigial here. I lure the lure the foxes away. And then they don't attack the cart. They got all spread out. What the fuck? Dude. Is it too far away? I think it might be too far away. Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. It could have been worse. Traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I am not here to amuse. I must. Uh Just want to sit down, lady. Uh, yeah, I love the high five. Sometimes you do a little forearm bump, a little Roman forearm bump. Family. Family. Any cool, any subtle cool stuff your pawn has done? Uh, just recently, I was like tossed off of a big monster I was fighting and my pawn caught me. I was like there and was like, hop, and then like put me down. Coolest thing in the world. Okay. I'm gonna save. And then hopefully I can just walk into town and not cause any problems. I've paid my debt to society. Riding in an ox cart would be a welcome reprieve. It would allow us to save our strength, assuming we are not attacked, that is. Hey, the guards seem chill. I guess while I'm here, I can give him the jadeite there you are pray tell me have you found the jadeite orb oh thank you thank you now my freedom is assured pray take this a note isn't much but i'm not else to offer right i'd best get going sir though we may ne'er meet again know that i shall remember this kindness as long as i live farewell okay I hope Sir a fool shall lead a life free of cares now that we have released him from his shackles. Such moments make me proud to serve the Arisen. Well, that was the nice guy ending, I guess. I, I do wonder what happens if you can bribe your way through the other branch. things will sort themselves out. I'm kind of worried that if I walk over there, they'll aggro on me or something. Is that a cat man? Yes, there are cat men. There's cat women too. There's a cat man. Over here, if you please. I've got wares of every ilk. <laughs> Am 
Ring of Repellency? Huh. Can you fuck the cat people? Actually, I think yes. Unironically, yes. There is a bordello you can visit if you have a membership. And you can pay money to have sex with the people. I'm pretty sure there's cat people in there. Pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're not killing me yet. Oh, there's always demand for weapons. You know what? It gets better because you can level up your bordello membership and access the like members only ultra extreme ultra rare fuck chamber, I guess. I'm not sure exactly where that goes, but they mentioned something about it. Yeah, just capes. I feel like I'm not going to find a lot of sensors as weapons just floating around. God, that, that hood looks so dumb just by itself. Particularly near the ball. Oops. Well, I don't want to do that. Well, that's fine. A minor shirt, though. I don't want to do that. Oh. Oh. Can upgrade it again. Order where quar I can upgrade it again. Level three hosen. Fully enhanced pants. Do you come again. Oh, sometimes this game looks like a fake video game in a movie. I love it. It does. It does. There's a huge charm in that, though. I mean, it's it's so dialed in that, yeah. It is the stereotype, while it's also so much the stereotype that it evolves into its own charm. Here we are. Just, I always think about Inside Man and that weird PSP game of just like, blam, 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 just shooting some dude directly in the face. Ah, there you are. You've come at a good time. I've just finished running those tests. I must ask, where did you acquire that concoction? Tis a fell thing you got there. To be plain, tis more poison than physic. It has the potential to heal one's ailment, certainly. But only certainly. if you survive long enough, which isn't likely. Worse still, it has addictive properties that are likely to cause the patient to become dependent on its deadly effects. I say patient, but I should hope whoever made this did not intend it as a method of treatment. You'd have to be well and truly mad to attempt such a thing. Well, well. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we found the fentanyl. So there's that. There was the treatment list. We talked with them. We saw, we saw the drug exchange happen, but it didn't seem like there was a, a lot to follow up with. Mechanically, the game seemed to think that that was, or the game seemed to treat that as the end of that particular line of investigation. But story-wise, we didn't, we don't know what she was trading for. We don't know who she was trading with. I figured those would be things to follow up on. Treasure chest. Oh, I can hardly wait to open it. Ooh, Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can sell that. Need anything? Nice. Yeah. See, the Mermecola Mermecolian card worth three thousand gold grants entry to the bordellerie. Really wish I could play this, but my PC is in the shop. Oh. Getting all tuned up. Getting its gamer fluids replaced. Many thanks. Man, I'm I'm really curious how that other quest turns out now. Um Yeah, that I need. I need a 
I don't know. I feel like this one I'm gonna have to wait until I get a pawn that knows what to do. Because it... Maybe I could go talk to the guy again? And there he goes, whoa! <laughs> Guess I'll go back to uh back to the main town. I'm not taking any I never I don't know. Whenever my PC's not per performing well or it's not like healthy, that typically becomes the number one priority. What am I supposed to do about it? Yes, denim chicken, that's exactly correct. The candle exists for atmosphere or aesthetic. This ox cart's bound for Vernworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my jude. Like a PC needing a new case? Clearly, I don't need a new case. Clearly. Clearly, everything's fine. Yeah, a vibe candle for the vibes. Oh hell! Whoa! What the hell? That's awesome. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Oh, kept freezing and shutting down out of nowhere? Mmm. That's tricky. Yeah, when it's like, when it's real basic, like fundamental problems like that. Damn, that lighting looks really good. That's some deep stuff. That's usually like a motherboard problem. Some deep shit. That's the problem, like, when, when it starts doing stuff like that, you can throw money at it to just replace parts until it stops doing that. Or, yeah, you gotta do some time-consuming troubleshooting. Did you just fast travel into a fight? Kind of. So the way, f the way fast travel works in this game is you get on a, a cart, basically like a public bus, and then you sit down and you doze off. And then uh, while you're sleeping, the cart's like traveling, and you might get ambushed while you're en route to your destination. What? Oh, I did want to come back here. Wow, sorry. I got confused for a second. <laughs> I thought I was going to the border town. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you can get- you can get ambushed on the way there, and then you just wake up in the middle of the fight. The border twixt the two countries is apparent at a glance. I've had it happen multiple times now where the, uh... The cart gets destroyed? What the hell was that? Oh, it's an ox. I thought it was a horn. The cart gets destroyed or the oxen dies? And then you just have to run the rest of the way? That sucks. I see. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Processor has been giving a WHEA -E uncorrectable error for a few weeks. I think my CPU got damaged. Yeah, that's rough. Your PC or your your PC keeps operating though, even with those errors. Or does is that like the blue screen error you see? Okay, I wanted to go talk to the. I'm gonna hold on. Let me equip this quest. I think I did this before actually. I want to talk to the fortune teller yeah, about this. Prize. Greetings. You need only make a worthy offering. I have seen your path. Yeah, I... Give my gratitude. If the way forward is shrouded to you, it is lovely to see you. I don't know what that means. Greetings. You need only make a worthy offering. I have seen your path. You've my gratitude. It is lovely to see you. Huh. Okay, well, I guess presuming that I have all the evidence I need, uh, I can go tackle... What's her name? Tackle the nun. What should I do? Press charges.
You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Is there aught I can help you? Oh, he's gone. Sir? Oh, if you're looking for Lubin. Oh, no. His condition deteriorated to the point that he had to be moved to the basement sick room. He's not allowed visitors, I'm afraid. Not even family. Even we're not allowed to go see him. No, no need to worry, though. The Abbess is tending to him personally. She'll nurse him back to full health, I'm sure of it. Uh-oh. <clears throat> we gotta put a stop to this. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You just sneak past you? The patients in this room must not be disturbed. Leave this place at once. Shoot. I'm wondering what's gonna happen. What if I what if I put her outside? Just, oops! I didn't mean to what do that. What are you doing? Unhand me this instant. Ah! Oh. I'm in jail again. Many thanks for your assistance in this matter. Elena is being. Oh, it was her. Okay. She was the one we were supposed to tackle, my bad. Suffice to say, your testimony, combined with the evidence you've procured, have cast a great deal of suspicion upon the Abbess that she isn't like to shake. Everything turned out fine in the end. Pray have this, sir. Tis your reward for aiding us in our duty to this city. Great. So, kind of a weird ending. What business have you here? Okay, hello, Austin. Happy Saturday to you, too. Happy Saturday to all. We're enjoying some fine gaming. Courtesy of Green Man Gaming, today's stream sponsor. Check them out if you're looking for deals, specifically in this case, they're selling Dragon's Dogma 2 on PC for 14% off. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. Uh, I think that that amount might vary by region, but do check it out if you're looking for deals. Also, just they have they have discounts on everything. Actually, uh, one of the reasons I've, I've long preferred Xbox to PlayStation is because they still sell digital codes for things to third parties. So Green Man Gaming has uh, got an Xbox section that might have some tasty deals in it too. You would gather materials here, Monster. Can we really afford to carry more? Yes, imagine wandering the land as the last witch hunter, Calder. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you can watch my VOD and copy all my sliders to recreate. Can we see where it leads. We ought to put it to good use. Recreate our good man, Vinathan Diesel. There's no easy thing making a living. Can I ask? I know people are hating on Dogma, but I'm seeing so many people saying Capcom back on top. But I feel like Capcom has put quality and great games in the past ten years. Uh, I agree. I think specifically the last five, they've been they've been on fire. Which is frustrating. Um, I would have thought that Capcom's recent release slate... What the? What? Why the? Oh, they don't like me here. Wow, don't kill them, though. No, I didn't know. No, no, no. Let's not kill the nuns. It makes sense I ratted out their leader, but let's not do that. Holy shit. We don't need to kill all the nuns. Yeah, there's there's just no there's no honor. <laughs> the gamers have no honor, but this is not this is not different. Whenever I see so much as a gleam of treasure, I cannot help but want to claim it, however far it may be from our goal. With the aid of Sir Kendrick and his helper in locating certain documents, I believe I finally grasp the true nature. Red bearded ninja, thanks for the sub. It was a royal library that was sealed off by a sovereign of some generations past. 
In a bid to pass the throne on to his own descendants, this sovereign attempted to consign our kingdom's histories to oblivion. Hmm. Alas, it would seem that no matter the age, the avarice of those in power is all but guaranteed. Interesting. Oh, Mail, they did do an Onimusha remaster release recently, but it was pretty straightforward. It is clear it serves them not. Almost laughably so. The Sovereign's line ultimately fell to ruin, and now this library, so laboriously sealed, has been discovered. What can we learn from this? Those who make light of history are doomed to be crushed under its heel. Hmm. Fine timing, sir. Fine timing indeed. I've need of your services, you see. My time in that tenebrous jail has only hastened the deterioration of my eyesight. I stare at the page, but the letters stubbornly refuse to take shape. Yet these old eyes might serve some use if only I could wear the spectacles I had specially made. Alas, they were confiscated at the time of my imprisonment. As I recall, prisoners' possessions are held within the palace oh my God. storeroom. It is a place to which few have lawful access, as I'm sure you can imagine. Though, as I hear it, masquerades are being held of late. Masquerades with a Great many attendees, if you catch my meaning. Should you happen to enter the venue, mayhap you would find an opportunity to liberate my poor spectacles? What say you? Would you consider doing an old man a favor? I am in your debt. With those spectacles in hand, I might actually get through one of my tomes. Pray, infiltrate the venue and find the storeroom. You are my only hope. I didn't expect to pick up a quest to get the old man's glasses. That kind of sucks because that means I have to come back and my followers might end up killing more nuns. We'll have to see how this goes. <laughs> I've not been making many friends lately. What with my imitation jewelry and, and my getting nuns arrested for trying to murder people. I do wonder if there's more you can find out about the nature of what she was doing. Alright, are we cool? There is a nun there. We're just gonna we're just gonna leave. Then I shall remain by your side. Well, luckily it's nighttime, so I can pick up my party clothes at my house and head to the castle. I don't know if tonight's a masquerade night, but that actually shouldn't matter. There's a ladder. Down here. It's through here. There it is. Hey! Sky 2K, thank you for the raid. Or is it Sky Y2K? Anyway, thank you, thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome. <sighs> Guess what, folks? Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> this game rocks. I'm having a dandy of a time. I pull out my dandy clothes. Here we go. Ready for a party. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the matter at hand. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party. I think I remember where the storeroom is. If it's that back room in the, the like banquet hall. Like the menu sounds? Yeah, they're nice. They're kind of like, I feel like they're kind of more classic, almost like PS1 sounding menu sounds. I would appreciate your swift return, master. A fell unease begins to gnaw at me when you are gone over long. Start to have feelings and thoughts. Complicated ones. Oops. 
I regret to inform you that Aw. No masquerade tonight. Make yourself scarce now. But I think they still they still let you walk around. No time to talk, I'm afraid. I'm a busy man. So I don't know if it was back here. Yeah, okay. Easy peasy. You have all the graphic settings maxed out plus ray tracing. Yes, I do. And even more than that, I have a uh, DLSS3 mod installed that activates frame generation. So, yeah, I've got resolution scale, frame gen, and ray tracing all, all activated. And yeah. It is a it is a glory to behold. This game truly is pretty pretty visually impressive. Hey. All right. It would be a wasted opportunity not to make our delivery while we're here. I fully agree, Pebble. Pass our burden into the hands that await it. That's just what I was thinking. I'll put it around like this on my 4070. Brought, bought it today. Well, Kawaii Hentai Boy, allow me to suggest... Allow me to suggest a, a series of events, courtesy of the, the sponsor of today's stream, Green Man Gaming, who is currently selling Dragon's Dogma 2 for 14% off. It is potentially... Pot potentially possible, based on which, uh, which retailer you bought it from. You could get a refund and buy the game on a discount. Let me get that. But that's up to you. Uh, I should. I'm, I have to suggest that based on the sponsor of the stream and my support of them because of their support in my bank account. That said, this game rocks. If you have a 4070, I'm confident it'll run really well. And since you have a 4000 series card, you can also use the frame gen DLL. There's like a, a post on a Patreon about it. And it's just a, like a 50k download to turn it on. Seeing where you take us. There will be other opportunities to lead. For now, let us follow. I must confess. But yeah. Uh, sorry, that was a bit of a heavy pitch. Language, let alone in the form of a love letter. Yet I'm far more intrigued by this God's way. It is rare enough that I encounter a word I'm unfamiliar with. Perhaps tis of Batali origin. Hmm? Hmm? Ah, you've returned. Oh, my spectacles. Well done, sir. With these, I shall have no need to fear any letters, be they... I shall learn Oops. what I can, that the day might come when I can repay this debt I owe you. Many, many thanks. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Huzzah! You done it! An achievement to be proud of. What will our next adventure have in store for us, Olbunda? I must confess, I'd not yet. I'm far more intrigued by... Yeah, the... man. This Batali origin shit, I just don't know. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. I guess I need to, uh, to just maybe move forward and trust that, trust that the progress will present itself. I'm glad I checked in on him, though. Dibby. You know what's the better console to play Dragon's Dogma 2 on? Oof. I shan't deny they have their I uses. don't. I, I skimmed some frame rate stuff, and it seemed like Series X did a little bit better than PS5, but that may have just been in exactly the scenario that was, like, being shown when I skimmed the video. Um, I don't know if, uh, I mean, Digital Foundry always is really good at analyzing ports and stuff. I don't know if they have a report out yet. 
Uh, but yeah, they're pretty good at exhaustively showing average frame rates and things like that. Was it PS5 overall? Okay. That wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Perhaps new discoveries await us about. Something to consider. Well, there are slightly more reliable reports saying that upgraded PS5 hardware is coming this fall. It's entirely possible that Xbox is going to do a mid-gen refresh too. But if you like, at this point, it's like, if you're going to buy on one ecosystem or the other, at least one will probably scale up to an even more powerful console later this year. If that's your thing. Um, how much verticality does this game have in terms of traversal? Well, I mean, it's not Spider-Man. You, you can't fly around. Um, certain classes have the ability to like double jump, but that's kind of it. I don't know. There might be more to it, but... Uh, how I've longed to embrace my bedroll. Yeah, you're mostly just, like, running around on your feet. Good morrow, everyone. Come. We've much to be getting on with. Come. Can you get a horse? No. So, this is a an intentionally kind of slower-paced... In my opinion, more classically styled game, in which traversal is, is a core part of the game. <clears throat> so you can you can like board ox carts and ride places almost like a public bus, uh, and that's the fast travel. Or you go there on your legs. Ooh, an elite camping kit. Stands up well against monster attacks. Maybe that's it. Maybe if you get attacked while you're camping, it might destroy the campsite. Yeah, Breath of the Wild is a good point of comparison, although Breath of the Wild has horses. But yeah, uh, I would say traversal can trend more towards that. All right. Speaking of ox carts, I'm going to hop one to go, go west. And my quest list is pretty empty, right? Lambent Flame, and then these two, one of which is very explicitly in Batal. Hello, Shadow Skill. Camps have endless uses because they can be destroyed. All right. Well, I kept not seeing that, but I've seen it now. <laughs> a treasure chest. Shall we see if we? I'm gonna guess that's what happened to my first camping kit. Then I got attacked while it was camped. It must have gotten destroyed, and then I mixed up that between just An using it in general. Make our journey easier. All right. mind it. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Which is how it be. That's cool. I think that's pretty fair. There's like some natural atrophy to the system. Imagine this on a Switch. Well, they really start. <clears throat> God damn it. They really start Arisen on a Switch. If the Switch has decent scaling technology, and I think it will, and a lot of what the PS5 Pro seemed to have was a lot of resolution scaling. If Nintendo has resolution scaling and even uh, frame interpretation, a Switch 2 could probably run this game. It's not going to look like this, but it could probably run it. I am excited for the convergence of, like, game platform performance in a way. That it's like, every platform can run the game. It's just, it just really is about the scaling of the base resolution and the scaling of all the other post-process. And whether or not it's worth people's time to port stuff to given, given consoles. But something like a Switch 2, it should be worth everyone's time. Even things like GTA 6. Probably, probably scalable to whatever the Switch 2 will be. Okay, so there's only one cart here. Okay, so no ox cart crosses the border. Remember, uh, Phil Spencer promised Call of Duty on the Switch. 
But he probably he probably knew it was already coming. That's my theory, is that Activision knows about the the next switch and they're already planning on bringing it there. It is scalable, ESPN. It's perfectly scalable. Scales in every direction. You seek to enter Batal, I presume. Go on through. Welcome back, Steph. Oh, you got some strawberries. Ooh, those are some ripe strawberries. Hold on, give me those. And I'm over. Ooh. Anytime that you get to pass by roadside. The bounty of the fields. Behold. Roadside strawberries. This is for you, master. I thought it might come in useful. Nice one. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider how Oh, it smells so good. Surprised of such matters. Uh, uh. Holy shit. I can already see myself later tonight. Stomach distended. Strawberry stems scattered all around. A smear of red around my mouth. Eyelids half drooped on the couch, moaning. Uh. <laughs> uh. Strawberries are awesome. Shocking, shockingly low calorie. Say, for as flavor packed as they are. There's been another ox cart raid. How many is that now? Dunno. But I'd wager it's the work of bandits. Gotta be them coral snakes again, eh? Oh, okay. His hands were clipping in. It looked like he had Trump hands. Sir Lissandro's been iron hands in a bit to flush them out. Though they haven't found them yet. Well, if they're not caught soon, we'll be seeing shortages. Mark my words. You ever heard of the coral snakes? There's no lack of brigands looking to make some easy coin out on the roads. But what's scary about these coral snakes is how damn organized they are. Talk is, they fall upon you all at once and they're gone just as quick. Along with all your goods and coin. We've had no luck catching them either, I'm ashamed to say. I thought only fools turned to banditry. But if they're capable of maneuvers like that, they must be a clever sort, eh? Why not live honestly if they've the brains for it? Suppose that's a foolish question. At any rate, if you've a mind to catch them and make a name for yourself, you ought to speak to Sir Lissandro. Perhaps I do. Bandit gang. Yeah, the coral snakes. Coral snakes rule. Well met, sir. Need a room for the night? Many thanks. Ooh, what's that? Voyager's Daybook. I cannot stop thinking about that enormous stone monument I discovered by the shore at dusk. There was aught inscribed upon it, so it may as well have been a grave or some form of cenotaph. I should like to examine it again in the daylight, yet I fear to do so alone, as the shadow I espied and the recess behind it filled me with dread. I suspect someone may be lurking back there, and I haven't the courage to face them on my lonesome. Okay, there's a cave behind a cenotaph, and I need to go into it. Tell is, the dragon's been sighted in the village of Melv over in Vermund memory serves, that means both nations will have to make arrangements to provide troops and supplies in accordance with the oath. Fair tidings for us merchants, truth be told, I'd not mind a dragon attack every other year if it'd keep my wares in demand, so long as I get to stay out of reach of its flames, that is. That's kind of how I feel about meaningless gamer drama. I don't mind a gamer attack now and then if it means that it drives activity towards YouTube and Twitch streams. I'm starving, I am. So long as I stay out of its flames, that is. Spare some charity for the poor. Have a, have a tater. Have a tater in these trying times. Ah. Oh, this is a quest. You there. What do you think you're doing, huh? Oi. You give it, you give it food to that starving child, eh? Hi. You keep your hands off him. Don't go thinking you can treat the poor however you like just because you're better off. Uh, calm down. Oh, okay. 
you've got it all wrong. He was giving me a potato. This kind sir has been good enough to share some food with me. I've the both of you to thank for my good health and my full belly. Is that right? I suppose I owe you an apology then, cuz. In my defence, one can't be too careful. There's a child snatching scoundrel around nearly every corner in these pots. The name's Hugo, by the way. I'm a helper of sorts to the poor Olivia. Ain't many folk willing to offer that sort of kindness. Even just one more's a glad sight, let me tell you. So pay me no mind. And I'm sorry for before. If you're here to help, I'll not say another word against you. Huh. Many, many thanks, sir. Lucky I am to have the two of you looking out for me. Many. M That's kind of interesting. It's still not a quest. Oh, hey. Where's this cart going? Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. Oh. This is the fancy one that a dude was in before. Piss off, or I'll gut you. Uh huh. Good day to you. This is the only way to live. Free as a bird. <clears throat> uh, sure look here. Asks how I'm liking the game so far. I'm liking it a lot. I'm having a lot of fun. Many, many. This game is pretty sublime. And sadly not the kind of game that gets made a lot these days, especially at this at this production value, at this scale. So very, very grateful. Very grateful to have some sweet gaming. Hold on. Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. I like how the saturation goes up when you enter Batal. Even the grass is a little a little greener. A group of bandits has been terrorizing the roads of late, targeting our ox carts and the cargo they carry. They call themselves the Coral Snakes, and they are no common thieves. They are organized and deadly efficient. And worse still, they are without scruples. They have been killing and stealing in equal measure. Devils, the lot of them. Nice on the fence whether to get it or not. Scared my PC can't play it. Yeah, there's there's been a weird hubbub about the game's performance that I think is a is pretty overblown. Um, there is one place in the game that you can see that performance is a little bit worse than the rest of the game, and that's kind of it, to be honest. Um, I think if you dive way harder than that, then then opinions start to differ about whether or not it should run better than it does. But uh, it depends what you've got and how, how dated it is. If you can run most games that are out today, I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. Like, this game is maybe like one chunk above where most games are, but that chunk is not that big of a gap. Many thanks, sir. I should be glad to know someone is doing aught to help us. You all begin by scouring for their hideout. I lurk a lot, wanted to say hello. This game is crazy and I've had so many crazy moments in my 20 hours so far. I took a day off to play more. It's been a long time since I've played a game like this. Ha! Huh. Well... May have you could learn I... I think... Some survivors of the raids. It, it, it obviously depends where your PC's at. But I think the game's virtues could survive... Some performance dings here and, here and there. Now I'm saying that in, in the most... Uh... Privileged of positions. Having a chunky PC. Gathering what information we can from those nearby. Hey, Slat. Uh, hey, Steph. Allow me to show you the way. Slashed thighs is a username. Lead on. Slush sloth. Hello, Slaff. What did you did you get? You got more groceries? Okay. We got more snacks. Oh, nice. Black black bean sun chips. Interesting. Interesting. Right? It's just like extra caffeinated Pepsi. Oh, oh, huh. Yeah. Hmm. 
30 FPS with dips into the low 20s on current gen consoles is pretty unacceptable. But I'm a pleb console gamer. I guess. The consoles have been out for like four years. This is unacceptable, I guess. But this is usually where it goes, right? This is usually where it goes. Unless the games just don't get better. Which is also kind of what happens, but like, I don't know. Skyrim didn't run great. GTA 5 didn't run great. There will be new there will be new hardware. Um, but it's a newer game. So yeah, see here's a here's a main pawn. I wonder if it's like I wonder if it's like if a name gets gets censored, it becomes a main pawn. Um, it'll get patched, it'll probably improve. Uh Here's the thing though. Let me let me be super clear. I am all about people wanting 60 FPS. All about it. I love high frame rates. And I I've, I've been aghast that console games have been stuck at 30 or even 20 FPS for a long time. What might that be? Let us ponder how best to proceed. But in this case, with this game and the things that it does, I find the trade-off a lot more acceptable. Uh, because because Dragon's Dogma 2 does stuff that other games don't do. It's it's not a question of, of Capcom being lazy. It's a question of this game fundamentally doing more. And the cost is performance. Um So the game the game has a like a uh, look at you up there. The Staring arisen. Has all yonder caught your eye. It's not just like crappy while while doing the same or less yeah doesn't take it count into the good performance stuff some of the greatest visuals or greatest views i've seen in a game no cap yeah for sure like zelda probably before this but this probably beats that damn damn that looks cool but there's just no like yeah no one wants to acknowledge that I brought that up a lot on the, the IG video, and just like, I saw some comments that were like, yeah, no, yeah, no, that's it, that's the, yeah, no, oh uh, yeah, nice try, no, okay, alright. Sometimes it's just, it's okay to acknowledge that somebody's not like... But it's about something else, I guess. Whoops. Yeah, Steam player count went up. Yeah, I, I noticed that. Class are you playing? Is that a cleric? No, it's a trickster. A trickster. A trickster is kind of all about manipulating aggro levels and like... Um... Doing buffs and debuffs, I guess? Kind of leaning on pawns more? Useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. Happy people don't complain about anything or everything? That's true. That's true. For me, it's just fascination with the social dynamics. I guess. Yeah. Woo! An increasing group of folks who were just playing video games and having fun. I saw that shadow, that was scary. I mean, that said though, I think it's pretty impressive. Uh, like Rebirth is right there. It's got a, it's got a performance mode that's basically 60 FPS the whole time. So it's possible. Surely we can make our way over to it somehow. I think there is probably, well, it, yeah, excepting the towns where the game does actually have to simulate a lot of NPCs and all of their behaviors and rules and things. Oh yeah, didn't one of my pawns know where this this was? There we go. To locate the bandits oh. hideout. We ought begin by gathering what information we can from those nearby. Pray, allow me to show you the way. Well, now, isn't this lucky? Someone who knows the... Ooh, yes. I like yogurt. 
Okay. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's fine. I like strawberry. Strawberry yogurt. Now we have three things of yogurt. yogurt. Yeah, and more strawberries. Yes. I, I guess back to the console thing. Reasonable, unreasonable, acceptable, unacceptable, whatever. I think like a, a $500 console that came out four years ago. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. Three years ago. It's basically like three years ago and change. I shouldn't, I shouldn't exaggerate. And also a lot of people probably couldn't get a PS5 until like maybe a year ago. So I think there's some aspects that might make, make it feel a little shittier. There's been more trouble as if we needed it. What? what? It happened right near here too. I'd bet my left boot was those coral snakes behind it. No way safe anymore. Seems they've slipped past this check. Oh, thank you, Wrath of Gog. I am having fun. Go dogma in. Like the rest of us. Big fun, dogma style. If someone doesn't put a stop to them or not, we'll all be sorry. A city can't function without a steady supply of goods, and fewer and fewer carts are making the journey. Thank you, Steph. Yeah, I was gonna do the dishes and throw out all those boxes once I wrapped up. They say you should be thankful for your life, but simply being alive isn't the same as living, eh? The trouble happened due south of here. It will be those coral snakes again. I'm sure of it. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. The Arisen is capricious indeed. But don't despair. We shall count upon your guidance when the time comes. But, uh, here's the fun thing, is I can take my own advice in situations like this, which is to focus on the practical reality of things versus the internet theater of things. And it does seem like the game's doing well. And, uh, yeah, people are having a good time with it. Oh, man. Oh. I don't want to fight. No. This is going to be rough. Basically, my damage is completely gone. Oh, you okay, Steph? Oh, you did a wellness shot? Oh, nice. You feel the power of world premieres surging through your veins? Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. It is as you say. Did you do the elf bow quest? No. I don't know if I have that or have found it. I haven't found any elves. Uh, Zumbini. Vin is now, or Boulder is now a, a trickster. I'd sooner not battle those with whom we have no quarrel. But if they mean us harm, we can but defend ourselves. Is that you, sir? Cool. So yeah, Trickster's kind of weird. I can make this ghost version of myself that, like, draws people's aggro. And then I can also juice up my dudes to make them do more damage at the cost of life, like they get a dot. In exchange for getting all jacked up. I've got a good feeling about this one. I don't have a, uh... Oh, the elf is next to the armor in Venworth. What? How did I miss that? Okay. Next time I'm in, uh, Vernworth, I'll check it out. Uh-oh. Oh. The uh, Dolly Parton cupcake mix. Muffin mix. Sure. Yeah, you... Oh, yeah, that, that feels... 
Whoa! That feels better. No, no worries, BD. I, I appreciate that. Those are the kinds of back seats that I support. Uh, just checking in and making sure the content is not missed. Oh. Biggest questions about the game is the enemy variety. So, the enemy variety is actually not that high. It's it's kind of more of a different kind of thing where it's like goblins or bandits. I would say I've probably run across maybe 15 to 20 different kinds of enemies, including some like reskins and repalettes and stuff like that. So it's it's not like Elden Ring has just a whoa. Something like Elden Ring has just an absurd number of of enemies, all kinds of different minions and bosses and stuff like that. Not really. Yeah, Dark Arisen was kind of the same way. It's more of like the in terms of design, it's more about like there are different types of enemies that have different behaviors versus trying to like have hundreds of different enemy types, many of whom might have similar behaviors. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably more different kinds of things near the end game. We'll see. But in terms of like, I guess in terms of objective game quality, that's that's one thing you could be like, oh, a game's not good because it only has like twenty different different enemies. I think that's that's not qu exactly the point. That doesn't. I don't think the the quote the lack of like volumes of different kinds of enemies is necessarily a design negative. But it is it is one way in which you can point to the game's like lack of stuff. But to like the thing is the the like the notion gets more absurd to to like imply that this game is anemic or lacking content like that's just where's that going I just wish there was like I don't feel very active as this class right now but maybe that'll change if I get more abilities bonk him with this. It is interesting having to like to be a little more passive though. Okay, yeah, he attacked the, the decoy. That's good. What does snuff do? Does it make my my guy explode? Oh, he just disappeared. Yeah, so sorry. What the hell? Oh, is that an enemy? I think those are enemies. 
not like a snuff film, but there's an ability. So I have Effigial Incense, and when I use that, it creates a decoy. And then it changes to Effigial Snuff, which I think just removes the decoy. Died? Ooh. My thanks. Where would I be without you, Arisen? I was involved. Let me get my reward. My thanks. Here you are. I wanted to show my appreciation. At last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. I've been waiting all day to pick up all these items. Rotten fish. You would gather materials here, Master. Can we really afford to carry more? <sighs> well, that was an ordeal. Uh, Yeah, I didn't even get to the bandit camp. Sheesh. Maybe I should... Maybe, speaking of camp. Let's camp. I have to run around here, but just hand over your coin and I'll let you alone. For real? God, give me a break, man. I find myself wondering why we must fight against our fellows. I knew it to be so. Well done, master. Was this ox cart assailed? It is in a dreadful state. The work of goblins, mayhem. No room for carelessness. Ow. You go to a weird dimension to find your pawns, like in Dark Arisen. Yes. The rift or whatever. Yeah, you sure do. Oh! I just want to sleep. I want to see what this elite camping kit looks like. Oh, that's not very elite, is it? The other one had a nice little tent. Aw. I guess I don't have any meat to cook either. Camping here again, are we? But I can see Mega Man's well, generous well, package. Home with how often we come here. So long as we are safe and warm, I care not where we rest. Oh, fine. I remember finding crazily leveled pawns in there on occasion. Yes. If, uh, if your friends played the game, then th I think that's the priority is like they'll, they'll show up first. So if your friend has like a level 99 pawn, then they'll just roll out and say hi. I think the old Dragon's Dogma, and it may still be this way, is that you could recruit your friend's pawns for free. So if you had a friend that played the game a lot, you just have a level 99 pawn rollout, recruit them for free, and then they would just like one-shot everything around you. Nowadays, I don't know if it's still like that, or I could even be misremembering the oh! Stay with me, Arisen. Wait right there. <laughs> I didn't expect the ground to disappear. <laughs> ah Yeah, the swan times. Oh, it's still like that? Okay, yeah. Nobody probably has level 99 pawn yet, but... 
Oh. Oh. A resident of this world dies. It is not necessarily the end, for the arisen has the power to revive the fallen by using a wake stone in close proximity to them. Bear in mind that the bodies of the dead are not left to the mercies of the elements, but will in short order be taken to a morgue or Charnel house in one of the larger cities. Sweet Hain. I don't think I have a wake stone. <laughs> nice! Shit, alright. Well, I guess I will uh, have to keep a lookout for Hain. What the f- Ah, oh, shit. It's a golem. Cool. So dumb. Pebble's getting worked, unfortunately. Oh, that's interesting. You can summon a... You can summon an effigy crouching on another monster. Just the one on his foot now? Oh, there's one on... Wait. 
That's right, boulder versus boulder. Full boulder off. Whoop! <laughs> Lost your grip. Did a shitload of damage. Just gotta kind of wait for for a pebble to hit a, a perfect helm splitter, basically. That, yeah. just this last metal on his foot. Ugh. Do the punch. <sighs> yeah, Trickster's fun. I just don't know what to do in these circumstances. Like, fights that have specific mechanics that it doesn't seem like the pawns are able to really specifically target. Like a human player would be able to. So this dude is just not doing the punch where he, he brings his foot up. Also, again, I just changed classes, so I don't have access to nearly the tools that I would probably need to do this fight more properly or more di directly. You like Trickster more than Warrior? Well, not yet. Uh, but then again, I didn't like Warrior when I first switched to it, and then I eventually was like, oh, this is the sickest thing in the world, so. Yeah, we'll see. want him to do the the specific punch where he like leans down on the ground and leaves his leg up but he just won't do that one for some reason what if i give him a shove pull this leg maybe 
It's been the simplest strategy that our foe most rewards. Knock its feet out from under it and strike air to recover. This battle demands all our strength. We must stand together if we are to seize victory. Splitter didn't hit. Rather, it hit the side. Have you tried Wayfarer? No, I don't even have it unlocked. There we go. Okay. I just needed to tug on him. Nice. That actually worked. Shit. Okay, I gotta remember to do that more. Okay. For every problem, a solution. Solutionize your problematics. Speaking of, restroom time. I'll be back. Per, per cow. A trial indeed, but one we surpassed with skill. With course, skill. The fight would have been lost without you, Arisen. What the? Ooh, it's like a grasshopper. Ooh. Like the transition? Don't worry. Um. Actually, I have a new transition. No, what the fuck? Oh no! Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Something bad happened here. Ought to be found. First blood's always the sweetest. Oh yeah, these are the bandits, right? Uh. Wow, it's the guy. You all right? Halt, I say. Oh, Hugo. Who? Fight. He's one of the bandits. No, he was looking after the kid. Pursuing yon bandit may well lead us to the fiend's hideout. Come, master. There is not a moment to lose. Come, master. Ought we not to pursue? Yes, Dune Man. Retreating into his his dune cave. Sand power. There he goes. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Now feels like a good time, a prudent time to save. Oi! Have Oi! You lost it? A child was hurt during today's raid. We don't hurt children. That's the rule. Don't tell me you forgot. Sorry. Must have slipped my mind. It's like that, is it? Huh? That what you're gonna tell Lenzo? Oi! He says we don't hurt kids. So you better hold it! Who's this, then? We've got an intruder. I'll go warn Lenzo. Coming here was the last mistake you'll ever make, cuz. You looking for a fight? Wait until I hit you with this power of incredible dankness. What happens if I summon a, a screen on them? The screen was just a wall, right? Like, enemies have to run around it? Uh, what you do? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. wall that hinders hostile targets movement and blocks their field of vision. Okay, so they just can't see. So I guess that means they won't attack while they're in it? I wonder if you could like pin NPCs to a wall with that. Okay, so that is just aggro. It does nothing but draw aggro. Boost offensive capabilities allows them to fight on if their health runs out. Oh, okay. That's why that's why Pebble was at one HP for so long. I guess that it's just like the there's really no base repeatable action as Trickster to do between the 
the other moves you do. There's there's nothing that like like you can't just swing your thing and do damage. Oh shoot. Maybe it's time for Pebble to branch out. Don't much fancy narrow spaces. Let us proceed with due caution. What's the I'm trying to think of the virtue of multi-classing your pawn. I guess it, you can get more augments. Do I need to kill everyone in here? Maybe. Okay. I come to parlay. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> okay. Seems we've enemies in our midst. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. To Put your pawn ID in the title? Where do I find my pawn ID? Do you have to have a, a riftstone for that? Holy no. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Can you not even carry a shield? Maybe I can have a shield. That is a good question. Or a good suggestion. I could have done no better. Fun <laughs> ID's on the character status tab. There it is. Man. Can't even can't even be a quest guide. How do you how do you turn on their ability to be a quest guide? Hmm. Oh, it's in the rift. Okay. Who wouldn't want a quest guide? That's really interesting. Okay, I didn't think about that. You know, it's uh, I was remarking about how it's uh, it's actually kind of interesting the way that they do quest guidance because that's they found a way to hide the glowing Skyrim marker in the world as pawns, basically. Uh, and then like, just putting it beyond one level of of abstraction really does make it work. However. I was, I was like, it's a bit odd that you can't turn that off if you don't want pawns to just run you right there. But, uh, I guess that's a way to do it. But also, Silent Ocalypse in chat says Pebble has led me on some quests, so I don't know why it says it isn't. It's all mysterious, I suppose. So wait a minute. Let me read it again. Because it said... There was some specific wording to it. Whether or not this pawn can offer guidance for quests set as a priority. Were the were the were they the quests set as priority? Yeah, maybe maybe they offered guidance on ones that you didn't have as priority. I don't know. Impeccably timed, arisen. Well, I'm out of ideas. Oh. Over here, if you please. We tried. He wants me to go that way. But this is where the dude ran. to get you out of here before things get bloody. Oh, I've already killed so many people. That's what Lento said to do, if we ever got raided. So come on, you lot. We're gonna go see him. He'll keep us all safe. I'm sure of that. They're already here. Run for it. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Very suggestive camera motion there. Okay, I'll go this way. Hey, Jay Stones. Drunk, love stream. Here's a goose. That's a nice goose right there. Mighty fine goose you got. Pray speak up should you notice all to miss. That. I'm going to take a gander at that goose. Mmm, that's a good goose. Good goose. Good goose. Stop! Fuck him up, boys. I am the weed master. I stand above all, dispensing my weed clouds. Ring of disfavor. Does that make somebody less likely to be targeted? Hmm. Increases the likelihood. So, I guess that's what's weird about Trickster. Is I have the ability to draw aggro to myself or to another point. But I don't see the virtue of that yet. Other classes are able to take enemy offense and, and like supercharge it as your own offense to co-opt it or counter it. This is just like you can get hit. So I'm expecting, I'm, I'm hoping for some kind of like follow-up ability or even maybe if I stack damage, uh, it, it empowers something or, or like an AOE or maybe a trap, like a mine or a debuff in an area so that if I draw enemies to it, it does something. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait right there. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. I don't stand a chance. If you just stop running, bro. Look at all these goons I'm going to have to kill now. They're just standing. They're trying to live their lives. My thanks. We shall accompany you now. Who? Who? What? Who? Hmm? Those coral snakes must pay for their crimes. We shall join you and aid your efforts however we can. Give no quarter. This appears to be the coral snake's hideout. Be they friend? Really not. Whoa. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. So they're just gonna go sick house on these dudes, huh? The game can actually handle a fair amount of AI all running around and doing stuff. That's not common. Yeah, TCAV, as this class specifically, this is a very, like, bizarre class. I'm still trying to figure it out. So it's... All of the classes I've played so far have actually been very distinct in their playstyle. Um, and this is a very bizarre, very bizarre class. I'm trying to figure out what it's all about. But yeah, it's it seems like it's all about indirect influencing of a fight. I can give other people buffs. I can draw aggro to specific... What the f... What the f... <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> anyway, uh, I can like summon a decoy and then cast a thing, cast a thing that makes people attack it. I can supercharge my allies at the expense of their health. So it's like there's a bunch of weird trade off abilities, it seems like. Uh, but I'm fairly low level in this class. You, you get more nuanced abilities and more powerful abilities as you rank up individual classes. So I'm hoping that as I rank it up, I'll get better abilities that kind of give me more utility. Because right now, yeah, I'm just mo mostly sitting back and watching my pawns do stuff. Which is fun in its own way. But very passive. Like 14 Dancer, but even more obtuse. I, I haven't even played Dancer. Whoa. Oof. That was cool. Oh. 
I think they're gonna kill you. Yeah. Hold back, and I will heal you with my magics. Wait a moment. <laughs> Dancer at least does damage. Yeah, this this class explicitly does not do direct damage. Whoa. So they were they were at least not lying. Uh, <laughs> they were very very upfront about that. I have to admit though, yeah, from the like the three more traditional classes I've played so far, thief, fighter, and warrior, they all feel feel really distinct. They have unique abilities in combat, but if you utilize them properly, still lead to a lot of damage. You can still feel pretty effective. I don't feel effective right now though, but again, I just have like level three abilities. I think I definitely I've definitely gotten um. Ability ranks. So next time I'm in a town, I'll just have to see what's up. Huzzah! That was hard one. Let us pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and try not to slip up again. So did the... I wonder... Hopefully the kids lived? They seem like they got- they made it out okay. I don't know what's going on, but I'm hyped. Yeah, I kind of broke through the defenses of a bandit layer or discovered it, and in the process of exploring it, the, like, local military showed up to help route the bandit camp. But in the midst of all that... Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boats. My boats. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Pawns are bonding. In the midst of that, we saw a local street urchin, or a local kid who had pledged to protect the local children. Was apparently tied up in banditry, but was working to try to protect the local children yet again. In the middle of a, a bandit raid. There's a chest. I shall take a look inside. Yeah. Vin is, is likewise confused, is my point. Um, kind of swept up in a, a rush forward and stabbing anyone that is wearing different clothing. Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. Fine. Perhaps the originals recalled some more pressing business. Fret not. I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually. Still learning? Never played Dragon's Dogma? Yeah, it's a, it's a unique game for sure. And, and this is probably one of the more confusing ways to watch it. Uh, watching this class in particular. I'm confused. Still trying to figure it out. Ooh. But I think the... Uh, the thing that... Uh, I am willing to give it uh, the benefit of the doubt. Because all the classes I've played so far have ended up being really fun. Once, once I kind of wrap my head around what the style is. So we'll see. I've been able to progress, so. It's not like I've just been completely kneecapped. Chest. My mistake, it is merely another spot for gathering materials. <laughs> but you got a little excited there, Pebble. Isn't it about time we had ourselves a meal? Oh, what I wouldn't give for a bowl of hot stew. Mmm. With potatoes. Stew potatoes are the best. Because they just, like, absorb all that stew flavor. It's a flavor magnifier. We respect the potato here. Yeah, they're really taking me all the way back. The, the route that I refused to go the first time. Over here, if you would. Oh, soup in this game? Oh, 4K footage of somebody just stirring around a big old pot of stew. You can see all the little perfectly cut ingredients bobbling around inside of a very thick and brown broth. Oh, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. All barbling and bubbling. Cozy as hell. What the? We're going this way now? Nope. Watch it.
Where do you think you're going, champ? What could yon chest be hiding? I must know. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Yeah, you know, Paul, I agree. I always like in-game, or sorry, in-engine rendered food porn, but, uh... Do we call on you to carry the burdens we cannot? I must thank you. Your toil keeps... Where are you going, bro? Hold on. Enter the bend inside out. I'm worried. He's, like, full-on leaving. We're just... No, hold on. No. No, 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 no. What I, what I respect more than that is the sheer dedication to the concept of food porn. The raw celebration of the visual splendor of food preparation. Being willing to experiment with format in pursuit of ever-increasingly masturbatory food footage. That is what I agree with most wholeheartedly. Even if uh, in pursuit of that it may have it may have shifted into a less than ideal medium, but still okay. Yeah, yakuza food's the best. That bread chomp, yakuza chomp. Great moment in gaming. That bread chomp. My curative magics are at your disposal. Yeah, it's like down this hallway, right? Something very loud just ran across the roof. What is the sexiest food? Chili. I heard people next door. Whoop. That's a weird sound to hear after you hear a thud on your roof. Tamales? Mmm. Shrimp? Seared fish with generous butter. Keep your ears pricked. Our Corn on the cob. With the slightest sound. Oh! <gasps> Whoa. Oh, oh, uh, t was but a trick of the light. Calm down, Pebble. A nice plump tomato. Yeah, figs. Pomegranate. Oysters. I guess unironically, though, some people think oysters. Yeah, eggplant. You're all wrong, it's a bag of Funyuns. <laughs> okay, so down and, a and around, it looks like? Anything Guy Fieri has eaten on camera. Also covered in chili. Mm, what a shame. Not one among us is fit to use arrows. <laughs> I was hoping for some new equipment myself. Should an archer join our party, they'd be happy for them, I'm sure. Alright, so I just didn't go here, I guess. Smooth. Yourself use. 
Tis the first time I've taught an unseasoned whelp the meaning of betrayal. <laughs> and it shall be the last! <laughs> Oof. Could have caught him. Uh, goodbye, lad. Don't just a, just a thought. You were a fool, but a useful one. <laughs> it's good theatrics in that performance. I can't believe it. How do I feel about all the microtransactions? Uh, they don't exist. They're not real. Arrest him. Uh oh. Renzo. Why? A job well done. It is unfortunate that their leader escaped, but I very much doubt the coral snakes will be using this hideout again. Hold on. We'll interrogate the lad and see what he knows. Mayhap he can tell us all of the leader's whereabouts. The coral snakes are still an enigma. A little dialogue here. Tell us more. Maybe. I'm sure they'll be very kind to him. Onzo left Hugo behind to be captured. I wonder if there's another way for that to go down. But uh, yeah, yeah, where's the DLC? Where is it? Do you see it? Because I just see a video game. I see a video game that I can play. Lots of quests and places to explore. Oh, a treasure chest. Oh, sick, a treasure chest. I'll just go over and, and open it. Sick, there's treasure in that. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. I think Pebble can use those. See, what I'm doing right now is something called gameplay. It's when you play a game. Say, ooh. Daggers forged, rare ore found an iceberg, coated in a thin layer of frost. Blades perpetual ice enchantment. Frosty. The yeah. Is yours. Lead on. Big win for Pebble. Look at him. Oh, he's got his little frost daggers now. Oh, maybe that was part of it. Yeah, it's so windy. There's like an orange tree next to the house. I bet a lot of oranges are shaking off right now. Come, I'll lead the way. That might be part of the what's going on on the roof. Where are they? Where does this go? Where where we go now? Oh, oh, because it resolved. Okay. I wonder if you can. I wonder if you can follow up on that. Nimble walrus. I've been picking oranges off that tree for weeks. It grows so many. Actually, though, I probably should go out there and see if I can scoop some up. Some up off the ground, because there's bound to be a, a raft of them. I keep some like paper bags on hand just for that occasion. Although our fridge is kind of full now. Basically, what I'll do is I'll go out and like pick a whole ass load of oranges. I'll juice like 10 of them and just leave it in a bottle in the fridge and then uh, just have like an orange a day and it's delicious. My vitamins have never been more seed up. Can I, oh, can I open this? I bet I can open this. Can't open this. Just a closed door. All right. I've been thinking about it. I don't know. Um, I've been thinking about just looking up orange-based recipes so I can make stuff with them. This in, way, master. in the past, I've like had a whole sack that I've just given to neighbors. Yeah, California things. <laughs> yeah, I have a, like an, a, a press, basically. So. Make marmalade. It's a good idea, actually. I do use spreads. Okay. Follow me. I have a little, I have a little toast and jam in the morning. Making marmalade is actually a really good idea. Especially if it's, if it's something that like takes a lot of oranges. I need something that I can put like a lot of oranges into. Something small that lasts for a while maybe. Oranges. Look! Oranges! But yeah, we California things. It's nice though. It's, I don't know, it sounds dumb, but there is a, there is some like monkey DNA that feels happy 
when you eat food that was grown in dirt that you also live on? These minerals under my feet, they sustain me. My connection to Mother Gaia has never been more complete. I was outside for like two minutes today. <laughs> when I walked to the store to buy beer. Clothes for comfort here. Should we encounter trouble, we would be at a disadvantage. Let us proceed with caution. Eyes peeled, ears pricked. Ownership is a powerful thing. I don't own this place, but it's as close as I'll get. Yes, one with Mother Nature. I feel the vibrations of Gaia. Everyone loves growing their own food until harvest time. It gets messy. Come. I'll lead the way. Yeah, it's not that bad getting oranges, but I imagine other things are a lot more labor intensive and dirtier. I'd sooner not battle those with whom we have no quarrel. Ow! If they mean us half, we can but defend ourselves. We don't use Oh ho! That was a sight to my house! Focus. Battle continues. Not bad idea. Well done! I shan't let them harm you. Oh, specifically referring to raising animals. Ah. Saving another's magic is a nasty trick. Are you a magical boy? Uh, I am a trickster. I have this, like, smoke sensor, basically, that I twirl around to create a variety of effects. This class is like illusion based. Sort of focused around misdirection and controlling aggro and stuff. But I I should I should take I should rest. Take a little siesta. We just broke up a whole bandit camp. Who's yelling? Oh. That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. See the DLC on Steam? Yeah? You don't have to look? There are useful ingredients to be gathered. There we go. You don't have to. No harm in picking a few. Why would you waste your time? Oh, why would you waste your time looking at the DLC menu for this game and not this? That's you making that choice. Like a feast to get you ready for bed. I quite agree. Best we recuperate our strength. And look at it. Do you see? Do your eyes behold the steak? Excellent. Very good. All right. I think here's the idea. We're going to do this march. We're going to march down. We're going to get to this new area. Yeah, dub. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's honestly nothing new. Um, and also ostensibly obeys all the rules that people thought would be fine. It's single player. It's all in-game single... It's all like mundane items you can get through gameplay. There's not. There's nothing exploitative about it. There's just the existence of it, which is stupid. Yeah. It's kind of dumb. It's kind of dumb. And it's totally cool to just leave it at that. It's kind of dumb. Meh. And then life just ticks right on. Yeah, uh, I haven't, I can't, not, so not only is the idea of paid DLC dumb, but actually, 
for this game, the DLC that's there is dumb. Like it's dumb on an even practical level. Who would buy it? Whatever. Whatever. If somebody wants to, fine. That's weird, but fine. Changes literally nothing for me. So yeah. Eh. Seems like a long way from review bombing to me, but... Review bombing doesn't make sense and says nothing. So it is what it is. It's unlimited like one per person. There are limits on all the DLC purchases, and, and a lot of them are honestly quite reasonable. Even if you wanted to, you can't really just like spend infinite money on this game. You can only buy like five wake stones or something like that, and that's five dollars total. That's it. Then they cut you off. No more. So it's even like quote unquote tasteful. Even though the most tasteful would be having none at all, but How do you get that class? Is it a mix of fighter and mage? I don't know, to be honest. So I was a warrior. I did fi- Oh my god. Are they gonna fight each other? Let them fight. I'm not gonna do this. Not as a trickster. But let me see what- let me see what happens here. Shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, f I found a temple, I talked to an NPC, and then it was like, Trickster unlocked! Uh, I can show- I can try to find where it was on the map, if I can remember. Yeah, I went to a sh I went to the same shrine in the- in desert area that you're referring to. Should I let- let me see. Maybe they'll fight each other. I don't want my pawns to just get ground up, but that's what's gonna happen. Logic is I tip $20 on a $100 tab at least. Games get around $30 of tolerable DLC. This game is fucking fine. Most people, most people seem to think that way. There's just, I don't know, a bafflingly angry reception to this in, in particular. I get it though, like... On a, on, on a very reasonable and even tone, I kind of understand thinking that it's stupid and being like, man, this is dumb. Yeah, it is dumb. It is dumb. It's dumb. But the game's also really good. The game's really, really good. Yeah, it's so easy to move on. That's that's what gets me, is that there's there's no shop in the game. That should That shouldn't be it. That should be it. You're not bothered at all. It's not put in front of you. It's, it doesn't make you feel bad for not doing it. There's no tab on the pause menu with like a little notification dot on it to tell you that you can buy a Riftstone pack. It's on sale now. That is just not there. It's not there at all. You have to seek it out. Victory is ours for the ah, blah, blah, blah. We we all know the score, right? I've talked enough about it. We know the score. We know what it. We we know it. We know what's up. So cool. By his fury, Sean be a pain against this place. And save our fire magics for another time. Look out, terrific. We're under attack. As long as the general consensus is that the bio the viable items are artificially hard to get? Or do you mean aren't? Um I mean having played the game, I can ooh. I can, I can, I can vouch for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, the, the buyable items are honestly pretty mundane. Um, there's, there's some, oh Jesus, there's some nuance to that, I guess. A 
about what the items do. Some are, some are just like currency that can do a couple of things, but all of it you get just by playing the game. Um, and nothing is entirely unique to the DLC. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Is that it? I'm dead. Wow. Slapped. I just don't believe in having character resets as a paid mechanic. So, yeah. The narrative around that got all twisted up. It's partially right, but partially not. Um, there is only one save slot, which is kind of dumb. But I was able to reset the game by manually deleting those files and turning off cloud save. And then when I turn cloud save back on, I can probably just pick the local save and I'm, I'm good. Uh, I'm gonna guess, theoretically, the same thing will probably happen on console. It's dumb. I'm not saying it's right, but the path is there, and it's shared knowledge. You can do it. Uh, there is a buyable item to change your appearance in-game. You can also get that item in-game using the currency you earn in-game. It's this, this Rift Crystal thing. So if you don't like how you look... You can either, like if you immediately don't like how you look, you can start the game over, I guess. But if you are, if you're 50 hours into the game and you want to change how you look, you'll have the currency to do it. So I don't know. Yeah, they're trying to bring multiple saves to Steam with a patch. That's fine. Uh, I, I do think there ought to be save slots. That's a pretty expected and, and reasonable thing to ask for. Because I was, I was kind of baffled. I wanted to start the game over and I was like, you're kidding me. Uh, I'd, I was a little annoyed in the year of our Lord 2024 to have to be rifling through folders and manually deleting files and shit. So yeah, that's kind of dumb. But the game's also fucking sick. The game's fucking sick. So whatever. You know what? Whatever. 20 minutes of annoyance for 40 hours of gaming bliss. The, the ratio is well in, well in hand. Oh, he's going to take me by the shortcut. Ice will be most effective against this bow. Yeah, the first game didn't have it either, but I don't expect everyone to be familiar with or, or tolerant of Dragon's Dogma's quirks, because I know it's quirky. It's quirky and a lot more classic in its sensibilities and not I don't really I don't really expect anyone to just get that. Or be okay with it without having played it. But anyway, so, so much of it, like, on paper or in a bulleted list is, is kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it sounds, it sounds so stupid. It sounds so ludicrous. Like, it's so easy to make fun of. But with any, any like, actual appreciation of things in context, it kind of, it kind of swaps around. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. I think it's, I think it's just baffling how these, how these really well-made and interesting games can come out and everyone chooses to talk about the stupidest shit, <laughs> just the most dumbest, unimportant. There's so many interesting things going on in this game and everyone is debating something that's not even real. You would gather materials. But that, whatever, whatever. I, I guess, I guess I should count my blessings because if, I think like, if people had like a bunch of weird takes about the game's actual design, that might be, that actually might be more annoying to hear people's loaded hot takes about the actual mechanics of combat or the pace of travel through the open world, or the, 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 Distribution of loot tables and shit. If pe if people had fucking takes on that, I would I would probably lose my mind. So that, in some ways, this is confusing, but probably a silent blessing. Oh yeah, Sig. Yes, yeah. See, that's a really good point. Elden Ring, like no one no one had a dumb made up bullshit to be mad about with Elden Ring. So they tried to actually talk about the design, the fucking like two paths at the beginning in the tutorial discourse and stuff. God, of all the things, 
That's the thing that people... Yeah, so... Mm. Yeah. yeah. Small blessings, you know? Yeah, people live for rage bait. It's it's something that, like... I guess... I guess I get... I live... I've been making internet media for 10 years. Like, rage bait is part of my everyday existence. And yet, even I'm baffled sometimes at how people will bait themselves. They do it to themselves. The calls are coming from inside the house. People have gotten better at rage baiting faster than folks have gotten savvy about identifying rage bait. I feel like there was a there was a window there where there like internet users got pretty savvy at being like, no, you're just full of shit. Like that. There was a window where people's shit got called out pretty fast. But now people buy bullshit so readily just because it's interesting. Oh, did the Reddit IPO tank? Is that happening? What the fuck? God damn! Why is... Okay, I'm taking off. I'm taking off. We don't need this anymore. Did anyone else see that? Or catches the line? Burr! There's another one! Oh, there's so many. Oh, it's up 48%? Oh, okay. Tech IPOs are usually, like, guaranteed money, right? I will protect you. How? I guess there's been a few that have tanked, but Reddit's pretty... Pretty in there. Also, I... I don't know. Reddit's, like... That taps into all the, like, meme traders, right? They're all gonna, like... Is there a word for when a bunch of people all, like, get together and fluff a stock on purpose? I guess it creates a situation where they all try to sell off at the same time and they end up fucking each other, but... Hive mind? Circle jerk? I guess. I mean, it seems like such a basic human... human thing that... Like, maybe there's not a word for it because it happens so much that it's just part of the system. Pump and dump? Yeah, maybe. Stock dump? Or stock pump. Okay. That sounds right. I'm almost there. Oh my gosh, I can see it. And I shall remain by your side. Hello, fancy. A well-organized pack is my specialty. I'll see to it your burdens are shared between us pawns. Hmm. A logistician. Someone who actually likes dis Follow distributes me. the load of items? That's cool. Did make some money off AMC. It's tempting to get into that mindset, but... Does that make you the arisen? I have to kind of just remind myself that, eh. I just have like a, a robo-investing account that I dump money into and I tell myself to ignore it. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella, and I have the- Huge risk, wouldn't do again. Yeah. Her Majesty and the guard. I think I- I'm not- I'm not wealthy. Come, let me buy you a drink. But I think I can understand the mindset of just having like- it's almost like playing poker. Fancy standing like you have a chunk of money that you just fuck around with. For the tavern. And the idea that maybe you can hit it. It's pretty exciting. And I guess like poker, there's there's loose logic to it and loose predictability, but also the human element is just chaos. Yeah, it's a different form of gambling. Mm -hmm. And to think to think that you have an edge on the system is the ultimate is trick. What the fuck? Battle is best avoided here. Incredible monster screech. Oh, Mega Man's getting fucked over there. <laughs> My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. <laughs> oh my god, shit. Here's your Mega Man delivery. Get him, Pebble! Ah.
I think this game is definitely a wait for a sale game. It's $109 reduced for me. Be dazzle. I can help. Not only not only can this streamer somehow defeat a you are correct. Uh bird of prey with not but a, a weed bomb whoosh get it so danked up that it decides to stop fighting but i can save you 14 percent on dragon's dogma 2 with today's sponsor green man gaming they finally caught the feet oh you're already you're already familiar all right yeah it's it's a it's steep it's steep right, they caught someone but word is he's just an underling um somebody mentioned there's a humble bundle that has dark arisen so if you haven't played, or if you're interested in Dragon's Dogma 2 and you haven't played Dark Arisen, I think the like, it's a really good game and it's really cheap and it runs really well these days. So Captain Benjamin's old they, they're a great storefront and I'm not even sponsor, sponsored to say that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Honestly, for me as a, as a streamer, one of the, one of the happiest things for me is when everything lines up a great game like a, a solid sponsor with like a great service great audience great day everything's perfect tell is he's still interrogating the lad trying to get all he can out of him about the coral snakes operations wants to make a clean job of it like winning on every front well here's hoping it puts those snakes to rout for the welfare of this city and our stomachs Still interrogating, These huh? Writings could be of import. Let's have a look then. Yes. Gamer W all around. Honestly, like I said, I'm just kind of excited to remember to check the Xbox section a little more in the future. If memory serves, there is another place we were to visit not far from it. The people of Batal view pawns with great prejudice. They're even forbidden from setting foot in the capital. Her Majesty, Empress Nadinia, has long been troubled by this custom, but a practice so ancient isn't easily overturned. Many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern, even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, <laughs> I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. Ooh. It is a bargain more than fair. For those who hold such permits may remain in Bakbatal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Glad I am. You have my... Take this then. Weed bong. Getting crazy winds on the east coast? Wow. Powder finger. Yeah, heavy winds here too, weirdly. Show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, I bid you assist them. They are harsh in their persecution of the pawns, but oh, you're on the water? By the Man. targets of their ire, mayhap a few stubborn hearts would soften. A simple plan, I know, but is the only one available. Or so it seems to me. I bid you good fortune, Sir Arisen. Interesting. All right, well, I made it. It's on item. This is a cool environment, and I do like that the... The color grading, the the rock formations, even the, the tint shift of the flora really makes it feel like a different area. Cool. Let's dip in let's dip in the rift. Oh, I can set uh my quest helping thing here. The dude. Gribby. Old Gribby. Okay, good crop of pawns. I do like Gribby. Grib wow, Gribby is big. Finally, someone to match my hugeness. So wait, how do you, where do you set the, whether or not your pawn is a, 
the rift, you'll be able to use summoning functions. You've unlocked at any of the forgotten rift stones scattered throughout the world. Oh, that's neat. Ah, you can find big women. Excellent. Everyone leave. Bring me the large women. Very good. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Walking in the hallways of Giganteses. Good, good, good. See, Dragon's Dogma, the ultimate video game. It's got everything you could ever ask for. Which is to say a buffet of buff women. Buff babes. Buff babe buffet. There we go. Said to take it a couple spins around the block. Goddamn. Yeah, thick girl only zone. <clears throat> still, I'm still not quite sure where I'm supposed to do the thing where I set that thing for my pawn, but whatever, who cares? All right, Dragon's Dogma 2, it's pretty special. 14% off. Green Man Gaming, check it out. Thank you all for watching today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow playing Bears in Space. Because they're sponsoring the stream. That game looks awesome. It's kind of like a first-person Returnal. Uh, bullet Hell FPS where you play as a morphing bear. The trailer's awesome. It's got a lot of... Got a lot of style. I'm really, really excited for it. It did definitely like caught my attention. So they're sponsoring the stream tomorrow. I'm gonna check that out. Uh, maybe from Jib Jib. I don't know what else. Maybe maybe pick up the Quake Two pack. Maybe start Police Knots. I'll I'll figure it out. Or maybe just play. Oh, actually, Steph suggested we could we could play Alone in the Dark together, which uh, may not be the highest quality game, but everything's better with Steph. That's for sure. Uh, so that might happen soon. And then, yeah, just tons of Dragon's Dogma coming up. This game is great. I really, really like this game. So I'm excited to see what it's got going on to get ever increasingly revealing armor for our, our main man, Boulder. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great rest of your Saturday. Uh, and I will be back soon with more gaming. Thanks again to Green Man Gaming. Check them out one last time. And uh, peace out, everybody. I'm going to go. I'm going to go see if there's some oranges to scavenge. And then, uh, and then I have, I'm going to make some maple mustard chicken for dinner. Looking forward to it already. All right. See y'all later. Have a great rest of your Saturday and see you next stream. Ever dream